Welcome to the Winds of Chaos, the Dungeons and Dragons campaign where you can influence the course of the game. You can harness the Winds of Chaos, this nefarious force of change sweeping across the lands of Gondara by donating bits during the stream to help or hinder our heroes. For 300 bits, our heroes may find a useful mundane non-magical item. For 400 or 500 bits, you can buff the monsters that our heroes are facing with a minor or major mutation, respectively. Special thanks to our community's very own Bo the Distance for creating the random monster mutation table that we roll on for these redeems. For 600 bits, you can compel a player character's flaw. 700 bits grants inspiration to one player character. That's a re-roll of a d20 during a clutch moment. And for 800 bits, you can make Flutter Die roll on the Wild Magic Surge table, our community's favorite. Flutter's character, Kiona, is a wild magic sorcerer. That means that she doesn't have full control over her arcane powers, and every now and then, well, you'll just have to wait and see what happens. Finally, subscribers to the Dungeon Masters channel, that's Twitch TV slash Ghost Pepper, can harness the winds of chaos to blow a custom NPC or magic item of appropriate level into the party's path. Please DM me on Discord for more info. Oh, one last thing. If you're a regular supporter of this campaign and, and you know, redeeming or subscribing or things like that are, are, are things that you do fairly regularly, please consider subscribing to our monthly coffee plan. Uh, we use the proceeds from that to go directly towards funding improvements to the game, music, artwork, uh, subscriptions to different services that make our game that much better. Any monthly supporters get a free Major Monster Mutation, Wild Magic Surge, custom NPC, or magic item once per month. We really appreciate all of our coffee subscribers, all of our bits redeemers, and every single one of you who watches the game. Please enjoy the show. Hello, hello! What's going on, Twitch? It is I, Flutterdie, and the Winds of Chaos team for Dungeons and Dragons! I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited about tonight's game. <sighs> Call of Lumps and Striker, you guys are amazing. Uh, 43 and 39. Holy cow. Holy cow. Ghost Pepper, 38. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys peter it is the she flutter d oh i like that i like that senator jg welcome welcome uh flumps striker my favorite people in the whole world flander thank you for the lurk holy cow wolf is muted what Wait, what? Why? It shouldn't be. It was working a minute ago. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I didn't turn it. There back. we go. Look. There we go. Look, the technical <laughs> aspects are not my strong suit tonight, guys. It's fine. <laughs> I still don't know what the answer to the question of the day is. I still don't know any of these things. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle for me today, you guys, which is really unfortunate given that we're going to be going into some pretty intense situations tonight. Oh, it's okay. Geez. It's okay. It's okay. We have plans. I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys, we left last night on like I a have plans too. Holy cow. Hi, Megan. <laughs> That's what? so weird. That's so weird. Why are you so weird? <laughs> like, Why are you like that? You know the answer to that question. <laughs> okay. So, I uh, we're like, I'm, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm not the only one that's super excited about tonight's combat. You guys. I'm so excited. Mm. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be so good. You guys, we're level 14. We're level 14. First... 
<gasps> the first night that we're doing combat at level 14. We are. 14. Oh my god. And also, yep. uh, <sighs> we have made a resolution to make wild magic surges happen. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. We need a race change, you guys. And I think tonight's mm -hmm. the night. Yes. Kiona gets to roll twice and pick which one happens. And we have <laughs> we have decided that the caveat is if one of them has a zero at the end, the race change happens no matter what. We get to pick depending. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because it's time. We've been a yes. tiefling for far too long. Kiona started to get comfortable as a tiefling, and I think that that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited though. It's gonna be so good. Why is there right on. Tonight? Doing well. Yeah, I'm doing much better. Doing, oh. doing Yay! Well. I'm so glad to hear you're feeling better, Flums. Yeah. I'm, oh gosh, I'm so glad I'm here and I'm glad I'm playing D&D &D with you guys. This is mm -hmm. exactly what I needed tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, heck yeah. Excited. I'm so heck excited. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Woof? All right. Are you what? Okay? How are you doing? Sure. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Sure. <laughs> I'm not deep enough in the week yet to have a solid answer for that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I love it. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god. Oh, okay, we're, we're, do, we're we just were, doing we nice were just things. We're not being real. I, okay. Right? Yeah. Just All's like... great, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whoop, we're, we're live, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we started. Don't, 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 don't know. <laughs> don't know. Don't know if you realize that. Yeah. It was just as a... <laughs> God. Oh, Flumps, I'm sorry. I just spelled your name in my title. I No, no, that, that was I thought it was hilarious. I was like, why is it not green? And then I was like, oh. Because it's not it's right. Flump. Oh. I had it call a flimps. <laughs> yeah, call a flimps. Call a flimps. Again, uh -oh. is an amazing uh -oh. name. You can't go wrong. <laughs> oh so god, good. that's not the dice we're using tonight. That was a nat one. Oh. Okay, baby. Oh. Not well, you might you might have rolled it out though. You might have rolled it out. Oh, that's true, right? You don't know. You don't know. Dude, I am uh I'm leading this uh Dungeons and Dragons club at my school as I have done for many years. Um, but it's it's like all the all the players have washed through and it's all new players to D, D now and they're and they're quite young um and they were they were saying well you know actually mr pepper there there's a statistical likelihood that you can roll any number on a d20 they're all just as likely as the other and i was like wait until you play this game for a little bit <laughs> yeah, you will say. your the gods of D &D your rational like <laughs> <laughs> yeah your your rational mathematically sound sorry, <laughs> <laughs> reflection until your first of this rage game because you yeah. rolled your third fucking fail yeah. in a row. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna be it will like, break if you, you really get into this hobby, you are gonna be buying a dice jail. You're gonna like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm using my purple. Ooh, we're using the sorcerer dice tonight, people. We're gonna hit it. Right. We're gonna hit it hard. Speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> does anyone want to play it tonight? Yes. Okay, let's yes, play it let's then. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, so, the uh, the the role play question of the day. This one, this one is a fun one. Um, it was I don't know. It was suggested by Collie Flumps, but now he says he didn't suggest it i don't I know immediately um, regretted it. Oh, <laughs> what did you do to me I'm so i don't even know um, I'm so, i don't know you guys have so to basically come up with an answer to this question you guys so basically uh what i would like you all to imagine is that your characters are pro wrestlers oh what is their pro wrestler stage name and tell me about their entrance <laughs> and now if anybody has never seen or heard of professional wrestling uh which is a uh, like 
maybe even living under a rock or something like that. Uh, um, the no, the entrance her. and the walk, <laughs> the walk down to the ring is a spectacle. You have your entrance music playing. You have your your like maybe there's some pyrotechnics. Maybe there's a particular dance that you do. Maybe there's a swagger that you walk down to the ring with, right? Um, so so tell us about their their entrance and their stage name. And if you have a D and D or TTRPG character that is near and dear to your heart, especially one who has guested in the Winds of Chaos campaign, we would like to hear from you. Um, so I know it's a complex question. We're gonna we're gonna give you some time to think about that. Um, <laughs> while we're thinking about that, amazing. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one, Peter. So, while we're thinking of that, how we would uh, address that question? Uh, I have some thank yous to distribute to various members of our community. First of all, thank you to our monthly coffee members, Bruce Campbell Soup. Bard Owl, Snozberries, Pugworth. Almost said Pugrim. Pugworth. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Pugrim is his D&D character. Uh, thank you so much to our monthly coffee subscribers for continuing to support this campaign. Um, remember, if you are a monthly coffee subscriber, uh, you get a free redeem of one of the 500-bit or higher redeems. Um, once per month. That is the the value of your subscription or greater. Um, you could use that to cause Kiona to have a wild magic surge. You could create a uh, custom NPC or a custom magic item to appear in the campaign. Uh, you could give a monster a major mutation, make it that much harder to fight. Um, so you, you, could do, you could do a whole bunch of stuff with that. So thank you so much. Uh, to, to you four for your ongoing financial support. Second thank you is to Starboard Striker and Bo the Distance who are in the chat right now for being our resident rules lawyers, helping us to to uh, stay honest with the rules and and uh, you know figure out what uh, Jeremy Crawford and Chris Perkins meant when they when they wrote that esoteric grammatically complicated phrase down in in the uh dungeon master's guide or what have you um so thank you Bo and megan for that uh final thank you not final thank you third thank you uh goes to vinyl stencil for helping us to organize the redeems asking the questions that need to be asked so that we can keep the game going and keep things rolling um and then the final thank you i promise is to all of you in chat just for being you uh just for being the the really cool people that you are uh so thank you hell yeah there we go <laughs> i think i made it through those thank yous in you record so time um <laughs> thank you i would never be all able right to remember so that. if you're <laughs> if your character were a pro wrestler what would their stage name be and describe their entrance so we got field dean would be called the spine tingler and she would enter the song she's a brick house i love it <laughs> I love it. Uh, Senator's character, who, oh my god, we, we all love. We all love Senator's character mm -hmm. so much. Oh my god. So good. Uh, through his own smoke, they call him the Red Smoke. He's ready to choke you out till you're red. Uh, TCB, welcome TCB. Mike Kenku Forks would probably be cursing and singing inappropriate sea shanties while riding in on a shield love it love it like riding in on a shield like skidding down the ramp like uh mm. like clark griswold from uh christmas vacation <laughs> uh with like all the sparks flying behind <laughs> uh afima is the witch the witch of the woods her entrance is extremely flashy there are fireworks loud music and then she appears in a flash of bright Electric purple light on a broomstick and flies to the center of the ring while holding a glass of wine. Nice. I love it. Amazing. Hey, pointy bird. <laughs> pointy bird is her stage name. Uh, Darvin's <laughs> wrestler name is Darvin. His entrance is that all the lights go off. People are confused. They lean over and talk to each other in confusion. The lights go on. He's standing in the middle of the ring and says hi. <laughs> 
Free Root would be called the Teetotaler, and his entrance music would be wind chimes. Just a cacophony of wind chimes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's so good. Uh, Rai Rai Jones, welcome! What's up? I gotta say, if Dorfin entered the ring, Foodle would totally be in the crowd, being like, what the captain of the super guard oh my god you know like just <laughs> he'd have a sign <laughs> yeah go yeah. super guard <laughs> i'm not answering this question i actually trained to be a wrestler irl you should probably have a good answer then i have flumps all the way up uh on the good evening madam flutter day oh Oh. That wasn't an answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. I thought that. I thought that for a second there. I thought that was an answer to the question. I was like, oh, that's not an I answer. I like that, Madam Flutter. Um. <laughs> all right. Let's hear. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my tactic when I'm at the restaurant and say. Uh, let me go last, and by the time it gets to me, I'll know what I want to eat. Uh -huh. uh, I'll ask you last, Flutter. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to ask Collie Flumps first. All right. There is a tree at the entrance, and the announcer shouts, Tonight, folks, we witness the ambassador of Aaron Selch himself, Foodle the Noodle! The tree opens as Geronimo by Shepard begins to pull. To play and outpour all manner of small woodland creatures as Foodle writes out on his trusty <laughs> pony Doodle, surrounded by spectral leaves with Andrew and Gimbal Shot on his shoulders. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. There you go. <laughs> nice. The Foodle the Noodle. All right. It's so fitting. Anyway. Flutter. You no, I said last. I would. Yeah, I did. I did say that, didn't I? Oh, I did say that, didn't I? Oh, uh, woof, woof. Okay, so I'm doing this under the pretense of the prompt because we all know that Mazra's. If it was actually Mazra, it would be the same as Darfin's, only with Mazra instead. Yeah. Of but hers yeah. would just be like the Firebringer should be called because that's her oath. Mm. She doesn't like to do anything fancy. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't think she'd have a fancy walk, but she would walk out to uh, Abyss Walker by Visigoth, which is like, oh, perfect, yeah, perfect song for yeah. Her. yeah, oh my yeah. God, I love, I love Visigoth. Oh my God, if you yes. guys, if you guys that, are into old school heavy metal, oh, so good. Yeah, that, um, that's, if anybody doesn't know that song is basically a metal song about Artorias from Dark Souls. Uh, mm -hmm. which fits Mazra very well, so. Mm -hmm. Flutter, your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is bad, you guys. It's really bad. Uh, no, it's good. It's good. Her name would be Chaotic Kiona, probably. Ooh, I like uh, that. Or something to that effect. Uh, I was thinking Whirlwind, but it doesn't rhyme or anything so uh <laughs> i like the alliteration, the alliteration is, is important right um she would her entrance would be to ride in standing on the back of her horse uh with her lasso going and uh like casting a spell i'm thinking you know if it's all for i mean if she's going into the i don't know this is whatever she would cast the dragon to fly out of her lasso in front of them and ride around the mm. ring. Uh, and mm. then, you know, uh, do some kind of acrobatic jump off the horse and uh, take a bow. <laughs> nice. I don't know what the song is, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm at a loss for that one. I just don't know. <laughs> it would be nice, anything nice, nice. you can do, I can do better. That's what that's I was going to say, but oh, I just didn't want to so say good. that loud. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you could do. Ah, I could do better. <laughs> that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. So I don't normally answer these questions, but as the dungeon master, um, <laughs> I, 
I would, I would, of course, my stage name would be the Dungeon Master, or the Dungeon Master's stage name would be the Dungeon Master. I would, I would like to think, I would like to think in my own, like, imaginations of, of, like, my own fantasies of being cool, uh, instead of how I really am. Uh, my entrance music would be Dungeon Master by Visigoth, uh, which is, which is a great song as well. Another great Visigoth song. Um, but in actuality, uh, my entrance music would be the Monty Python uh, and the Quest for the Holy Grail theme. Uh, and oh my I would come god. Out with, yeah. Yes. And I would come out I would come out with Wolf clacking coconuts and carrying all my <laughs> D&D books on That's his back. That's so good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just Wolf has like that big backpack that... Uh, that the, that the squire has just stacked so with much. every D D book. Yeah. And I love this <laughs> idea so much. <laughs> oh shit. That was I did I did that with uh <laughs> I do attendance questions with my students and one time I asked my my senior English class a couple of years ago what their um wrestler entrance music would be and uh <laughs> and they decided mine was the Monty Python, the quest for the Holy Grail theme. So, <laughs> I mean. so if I ever, if I, if I ever, uh, if I ever left the class and then I came back in, they would, they would like have, they would have it loaded up and connected to the TV and they'd just blast that song <laughs> as I walk back into the room. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing move as a dungeon master would be like a roll failed where someone's on a carpet and pull it out like a tablecloth and they roll away into the crowd. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Bunny, I want to know your answer to the question of the day. My IRL music was Satellite by Rise Against. Oh my god, Rise Against. Good choice. That's... Good Man. choice. No, no Bunny! <laughs> oh, Bunny, you, you can't you say no! What? You, you can't so say no. No. You can't. Lean the odds. Come on. Can't say no. Oh, gotta do. Can't say no. Oh no. It was so fun. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, folks. Before we start, we got one more, <gasps> one more little segment before we begin. That's right. It is time for Dear Ephema Week. <gasps> 14. Dear Fima, week 14. Okay. Um, so I, it was pointed out to me that whenever I introduce Dear Fima, uh, I explain what Fima already explains. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let Fima right speak in, for herself. Um, just remember Flutter to, that you might have to turn it up because it tends you. to be a little bit quiet. Uh, so here we go. Greetings, friends, and welcome to the Winds of Chaos latest segment, Dear Ephema, where I, your favorite local woods witch, reads everybody's letters and answers your questions. This week's letter comes from Rune Wolf, who says, Dear Ephema, that's me. How does one open a cookie jar? I mean, presumably, if we're talking about a normal, regular, mundane, run-of-the-mill cookie jar, you just do it. You know, spin, if it's a spin cap, or lift, if it's a lift cap. So I'm going to assume that in this case, we're talking about a magical cookie jar, which could be a completely magical cookie jar, or one that is sealed by magic. Ideally... Uh, what you would want to use uh, is the magical password, if you have it, um, or the sigil or signal or whatever that uh, pairs with the cookie jar, because then you don't have to do any of the magical fuckery that we're about to talk about. Uh, but assuming that you don't have that, there are a couple of options. If you're dealing with low-level magic, you could try dispelling it. Dispel magic uh, is useful, um, but really only if you're a more powerful sorcerer than the person who created the jar. Uh, there's also the knock spell. Uh, 
uh, you can give that a try. If it's uh, the right kind of magical lock, then Nock will, of course, open it. But these are lower level magics, which lose their potency over time, especially if you're dealing with someone ultra powerful who really doesn't want you touching their cookies, like, say, a mom who made those cookies for herself because she already made the cookies for your bake sale, so just eat those and let her have her uh, cookies to herself. Um, if you're dealing with something of a higher level magic, um, then you have to get a little bit clever in order to sort of bypass whatever protections have been put on there. Uh, I recommend uh, some sort of trans-dimensional teleportation that would allow you to reach your hand through a portal, something like an arcane gateway, um, and then you can just reach your hand through the portal and pull out the cookies. At the end of the day, if none of your magic works, you can just break the jar. Usually they're not enchanted against breaking, and that just, you know, breaking the object that holds the magic uh, gets rid of the magic. But if you're dealing with a clever enough sorcerer, that could cause problems. So open at your own risk. And, and breaking a jar also means that you have to deal with the glass, possibly in the cookies, which is less than ideal. So really, at the end of the day, if you don't have access to the cookie jar, consider baking classes. That's all the time we have this week, but be sure to tune in next week for another letter <laughs> and head over to the Pepper Patch Discord to submit your questions to me, Afima. Oh, oh my god. god. That was good. That shaming, was good. Shaming them for the mom cookies. I love, I love oh. it. I love it. Just learn to bake. <laughs> Just learn to bake, fool. Just fucking learn to bake your own cookies, bitch. Just learn to bake. Fool <laughs> just like crosses out all his notes and just writes at the top in all caps, BAKE. Bake. <laughs> bake. Learn to bake. And later he forgets why he wrote that and just gets baked. <laughs> it's like the, uh, it's like the, the boomer, the boomer mom version of learn to code. Just, oh my god. Just learn yeah. to code, bro. Just, <laughs> just do it. Oh my god. Alright. Um I've got a cookie jar. Well, there, there's a question in chat. Peter didn't get Peter hasn't heard the, the last week's. I don't know. Do we want to play last week's? I, I don't care either way. Okay. Uh Peter did say that they will find it on the VOD. the VOD. Okay. So Okay. Yeah. That's probably right. the better Let's plan. Let's mosey them. We have some combat to do tonight, so. Sorry, we do have combat to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we do have combat to do tonight, which is always, uh, always a, always a thing. <laughs> um. Oh my God, Peter! I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, friends, let's get started. Hey, Golden. Um, so, who can recap us? Oh my god, last week was a lore heavy session. Oh my god. Uh, world, world lore heavy. Lots of world lore was, was dropped. So who can recap us? Obviously, we're going to have to... Uh, truncate it a little bit and, and keep it uh, keep it concise. Um, but who can recap last couple of sessions here? Uh, so we received a D eight shaped crystal that has the map to Dal Kalash, the city that Kiona was told to go to. Well, no, that Adelati was told to go to in one session a really long time ago when we broke the first. Quarai out of its crystal. Uh, so uh, we have the map now to get to the moon coast, which we have been looking at going to for a long time. Uh, and I think we have decided that that's the next move after we're done with this Elvish Kingdom stuff. We will be... We got a whole bunch of lore! I don't know. I don't know how to sum it up, you guys. All kinds of crazy shit. Uh... <laughs> uh... The 
grandfather dumped a whole bunch of, of information and apparently is way older than we know and we're sneaking the grandfather, the long story short, we're sneaking the grandfather into this elven city because there's something that he needs to do there. Uh, and uh, we know that the people of this area are gonna ambush or try to ambush us uh, along the way because we are, are sheltering the Skulden, the half-elf people uh, from our caravan and they potentially could have this guy with them. Uh, and so we are going to try to get in front of that by ambushing them instead. By using the Skulden people as bait? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, what's her name was was real excited about right, that. Among right. other Kirkman. things, she was really excited. Yeah, yeah she, she's just a a beacon of joy and happiness. Uh, <laughs> I swear, she's giving Mazra a run for her money. <laughs> right? I don't know. There's probably a lot that I missed there. So if you guys have more to add. Oh yeah, let me check my notes here. Um, I kind of just glossed over the whole lore thing. <laughs> <laughs> there's craziness going on guys there are so many people i think Thank you. yeah there's a lot of nuttiness <laughs> like i think i think you sort of hit all the important beats but i know that the information is very segmented in the group mm, mm -hmm. so like boodle doesn't know a lot of this um, right right and Fiona has one half and Mazra has the right, other half right right so we yeah. learned a little yeah. while ago that, that well Mazra learned a little while ago that one of the things to come out of the red locker box uh, during the fight with the goblins and original uh, that kind of started this whole thing uh, was the what was her name Meliki Meliki uh and, uh, but only Mazra knows that Meliki came out of that box and did the thing to destroy the goblin army. What Kiona knows is that Melikos came out of that box to destroy the army. But they don't, they haven't had the conversation to make them know that yeah. that is potentially one and the same. So, uh, right. that's an interesting, that's a huge, huge piece of information <laughs> that's like... It's <laughs> hanging like, out that there was right mind now. Blowing. Yeah, yeah. So uh and Foodle and, and Foodle is, like is very death and fire. So like <laughs> mm. Death, fire and knowledge. And knowledge. Um yeah, and Foodle Foodle of course knows very little about that whole red box thing in Ilian because it implicates a certain individual that the party wants to protect from Foodle's like red out rage. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we all have little fragmented pieces of the information uh in terms of our whole party. But yeah, we're hot on the trail of everything colliding at the moon coast. And maybe repeating okay. history or trying to stop a cycle. I don't know. Adelati doesn't know. Kiona doesn't know. <laughs> Is there a cycle that needs to be stopped? <laughs> yeah, we talked about that last time. Maybe. Yeah. Like, Is there a yeah. cycle? Maybe. Can we stop it? Is, Is it a good idea to stop it? Rebirth of a nation. Like, yeah. maybe. Destruction of right. a nation. Uh, mm -hmm. Over and over and over mm -hmm. again. A world. We are not sure yeah. what is going on, you guys. And we don't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. But for now, we need to set up an ambush. Yeah. Hmm. And we're going to use Caridwyn as bait, and I can't wait. It's going to be great. Yeah. She's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> she's really... Oh, she's that's perfect. Really... Oh, my God. I just had it. That's how we reveal it. You guys, we take the cover off of it. Caridwyn is the one in the wagon with it. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to love it. She's going to... She's gonna volunteer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. How bad? How bad is this? <laughs> oh, you guys, wait until you hear what we have planned. Alright. Oh, Peter, that is like the best. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. <laughs> I could just I could just imagine a, a situation where it's like somebody there's a there's a multi-car pile up someone was checking their phone while driving and then one of the players wait 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 i thought the phone 
was something that you hold up to your ear to talk to people. What do you mean checking your phone? Oh my god, yeah. follow the world lore. <laughs> Phones changed. Yeah. It was <laughs> Call them Apple Keep your notes now for some Keep reason. your notes up to date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually ran I'm sorry for this aside. I ran into this problem in an an economics class where I was telling students like this person has lots of oranges. This person has lots of apples. The idea being that they're gonna they're gonna trade them with each other, and they're well, sir, an apple is worth a lot more than an orange. They were thinking that when I said an apple, I was talking about a phone. Oh my god! <laughs> and there's like at least Are half a dozen kidding? students in the class that thought this, and I was like, guys, no. <laughs> please. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I can't. Wow. Oh, I can't. This is I not can't a chicken and egg to, issue, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I can't have to specify that when I'm referring to an apple, I'm referring to the that piece just, of fruit. Wow. God, that's so depressing. That is so mm. depressing. The, fact that the company is more well known than the fruit. That can't than be. Than the right. fruit that Please it's named don't. after, yeah. I know. It's a, this is the logo. Like, no, do they not some... know what the lo Oh, God. Anyway, I gotta oh. move past it. Move past some it. people. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, we begin. Uh, we are setting up our little ambush now can anyone remind us what the what the plan is like what is what is the actual plan here you talked about we're going to use caridwin as bait but what what is the plan right well, well go ahead plums so i'm imagining that we are you know talking about this as a group probably in mazra's uh wagon and um you know, Kiona, she is sort of listing off her spells, and one of them is summoning a draconic spirit. And we've seen this before. Um, and Foodle, he, you know, he's like, well, yeah, that's 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 brilliant. I mean, we, we, let's get a dragon in there. I mean, that that might scare some of them off, right? Right. But what if we like, what if we like sprung it on them like a surprise? The dragon lasts a little while, you guys. I could, I could have her out before we start and and then <gasps> and then we could you know like maybe we put her in a wagon and we cover her up or something and then that's you know yeah no no that's perfect uh foodle you know gets you know he tosses a piece of fleece and he creates like a, a perfectly nice five foot by five foot crate he's like okay yeah we could we could hide the dragon in this right and then it could just pop out and explode and scare everybody uh well, not, not exactly. It's, it's a little bigger than that, isn't it? Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, it's like a whole. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. It's like a whole big dragon. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah. The um, the box probably. I. You know what? Your wagon idea. That's probably better. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well. Um. But but maybe, maybe you got something going there with that box. Instead. Instead, though, maybe it's a. It's 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 one of the people they're looking for or something. And we put it in the wagon and um it attracts them close to it and then we spring her on them. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, mm, I don't know if I can really make people though. Oh. I think I can only make things. Okay. Well, that's all right. Unless the dungeon master will count a wax sculpture as a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Can you make a silhouette against a piece of cloth? Hmm. Yeah. Really? I, I mean, I like that. Of Caridwin? I mean, it's got to be Caridwin, right? Well, no, it would have to be the old man, right? That's who they want. Oh, well, that's perfect. I don't know what he looks like, so I'll just make a silhouette. But you've seen a silhouette, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he was behind those curtains, sort of in shadow. But maybe Caridwin could play a part, too. Like, somebody's got to reveal the dragon. 
I think. And if it's one of us in that cart, it's gonna be obvious that there's something weird going on. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Well, hold on. Isn't the dragon her. gonna... I mean, I guess it could. It'll just throw it off. I, 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 I right. didn't really think about that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, I think. And oh, and maybe I'll be hiding in a box. Fuda like walks into the box. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that kind of works, actually. Strangely, right? It could be good. How many of them there boxes can you make? Um. Well, I mean, I don't have to concentrate on it. That Poodle's like ever so slightly muffled. Uh, so I could make one. I could make a dozen if you want. You don't need to concentrate on that? No. Amazing. Dude, this, spell, this spell is ridiculous. That is this is a... why you can't make creatures. It's OP only objects. spell, yeah. It lasts for a minute as well. Lasts and for a minute. Okay, well, that's, not, that's not terrible. Yeah. So wow. Anyway, I know. Wow. It's busted. Well, I mean, I think that would work to hide us, right? At least the three of us. Yeah. I mean, we could just be barrels or crates or something. Right. And then Cared Wind can uh, head up the little group of wagons, right? Because, mm -hmm. okay, so uh, above table, we convinced the Skulden to separate from the caravan in an attempt to lure out the people that would attack them um yeah so yeah. that was uh yeah. that was grandfather's plan yeah right mm -hmm. right um so yeah well, was and so cool. the the <laughs> idea was for caridwin to to make a show of some sort of beef with the rest of the caravan and and loudly proclaim I'm leaving forever. Right. And then... The caravan yeah. leaders, with leadership, we went to them at the end of the session last time to let them know that it was going right. to happen ahead of time. Yep. And yep. Uh, so, yeah. So, well, I mean, we just... Maybe we quietly make our way separately into a couple of their wagons. And right before yeah. Caridwin does the drop, right? Yeah. I, th I think this is brilliant. Well, well, I guess the only other question is, what do you guys prefer? You want a barrel or a box? Well, I'm kind of tallish as a tiefling, so a barrel, I think, feels better for me. Done. <laughs> what about you, Mazra? Even though it's like, still only like, a 5x5. Five by five barrel? Okay. <laughs> like... I'm going to go with a crate, just so that we're not all barrels. You know what I mean? Like, just mix it up. Um... Are we getting in separate carts? Uh, I feel like that's probably a decent plan. Or are we getting in the same cart and... Oh, that's a good question. Do you know, Ghost? Um, Is there a... Yeah. You'll, you'll see. You'll see when you see the map. You'll see when okay. you see the map. Yeah. Okay. And and I'll give you I'll give you a little bit of time to decide then. Okay. 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 Um... Wait, what? <laughs> There's, it, it's. I think he's just running the spell as it's is. Perfectly, <laughs> yeah. That that's that's a perfectly valid use of the spell. Unfortunately, right. <laughs> yeah, it's probably I mean, you the can't. Most useful yeah, spell. you can't move. Can't move the object or anything oh. like that. No, but the, yeah. we don't need. That. And as soon be... as something passes through it, like you know, yeah. the jig is up, right? Right. There. Yeah. Um. So. I uh, see. <laughs> we will coordinate with Carid when I know we said we would have a signaler of some sort, but I guess we would coordinate actually, uh, because yeah. we want to be hidden in their wagons ahead of time. Um, how long does that spell last? Oh wait, it's right there. A minute. A One, minute. Oh, it only lasts a minute. A That's minute. That's not gonna work yes, out. Yes, but. Uh, well, but here's so, the so. thing, it it the, it's somatic and material, so Foodle doesn't have to say anything. He just 
make some motions so every with his hand, 60 seconds he's like <laughs> well he can do it every six seconds or what is it or 10 seconds what is it? For yeah round? it's our it, well our... ours is yeah. six seconds yeah, technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, or six, oh is it 10 no 10 seconds no. 10 seconds okay yeah, yeah we made a round cover 10 yeah, seconds yeah, yeah. yeah. Foodle could have yeah. like six crates. I mean, it's we've never done that, right? But like, and he just cycles through them. Anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as but long as he for keeps right the now, he just up. needs three of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So All right. yeah, so that'll 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 incur, um, just so you know, that'll incur a perception, like an automatic perception roll on on anybody who's sort of looking in that direction to be like, you know, why. Why is that crate flickering? You know what I mean? <laughs> As well, I you like re up the spell. Check. I don't know what I. Oh, uh, I yeah. see. Whoa, well, I see. Yeah. 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 Because as, like, as you re up the spell, there's got to be some sort of like visual cue of it. Well, like, I guess it. Yeah, maybe. But like if he does it before the spell ends, because there's, there's only three of them, right? Yeah, but then you're just putting a, a, one illusion on top of another, right? There's yeah, still well, gonna be some kind of visual yeah. fuckery. Yeah, 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 I would no, think. I think yeah. yeah, if you're yeah. paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But a bunch of That's wagons right. yeah. bumping over a bumpy road might not quite, you know, that could help. With oh shit! Of yeah. You know what? You know what? The barrels. I don't think. Oh wait, no, because they're on the surface. Yeah, so it'd be fine. Okay, never mind. Breaking black back plan C. That's right. That's right. <laughs> plan crate. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah. Okay. And so. The um. All right. The day. Oh. No, the, we're not. The before. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, we're ready, but also we're casting mage armor, and. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay. right before we we uh, know this is all happening, Kiona will before we leave. Kiona will be casting this uh, the drop draconic spirit summon spell to because she also needs to have that in a wagon before they set out. Poodle's plan is always to not have a plan. It's like Look. this is like the opposite of the A team. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it really, really is. Oh, God. Uh, so all right. I'm gonna roll first of all. If she casts mage armor, that's a 14. We do not surge. All right. So regardless of what you guys do, you've got to sneak aboard the uh, these wagons, um, and. If you I don't think you want to spread around that you're the D team too much. Um, <laughs> I don't think you want to. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> D for discretionary. Oh, shit. Megan. Oh, no. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Mazer, Mazer holds up the immovable Everyone rod. Wants the D team. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, regardless of the fact of of what you're doing, there there's going to be a stealth check uh, involved in hiding yourselves among these wagons. Sure. Uh, because before Foodle can cast the illusions to cover yourselves, you you need to actually like sneak into your position without being seen by anybody. I'm going to allow everyone to roll advantage on this stealth check oh. because you do have some individuals within the bastard brand uh carried when and and like a handful of her most trusted and also grudging uh lieutenants to to help you out with this 32 stealth for foodle okay I rolled a 16, and he has a 16 bonus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Kiona is gonna oh, use Tides of Chaos to reroll. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Oh no. my god. <laughs> she rolled a Roll 20, six. please. Come on, roll 20. Oh, thank oh, god. Oh, there we go. Okay. We go. That's better. <laughs> That's better. 
Uh, you can use obviously seventeen because that's like a the one time reroll. I shouldn't have. Advantage Thank you, the Megan. Second one. I've also I've also uh, I've also deputized Megan to uh, to. To help out with the tides of chaos. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we are we are yeah, attempting right. to uh, utilize this ability of Kiona's more. Yes. So. Uh, are you able to post tides of chaos in the chat? I can do that. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Manipulate the force of chance of chaos to gain advantage on one attack roll ability check or saving throw. Done. Um. Once you do so, you must finish. A long rest before we can use this feature again. Okay, so in terms of rules, right? Uh, but what you read effectively the next did now, now a seven. Hold, oh. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking about your stealth roll right now. Oh, okay. Um, so there's no such thing as double advantage in the way that oh, you rolled it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take your 17 because, yeah, yeah. Because no, no, oh, I wasn't, yeah, you, no, no, I, I did yeah. say take the 17, right? Because I didn't mean to roll advantage yeah. twice like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So no. we're going to take the 17. But if you say um, roll advantage on something and then both of those rolls fail me, Tides of Chaos can still be another. I'll, I'll allow you, I think, I think technically in the most technical of technical readings, Ty, you wouldn't you be able to advantage. even use Tides of Chaos. Right. Yeah. Um, because you only get one advantage, but but I don't care. It's a character ability. It's a class feature. Yeah. And Whatever. we have not um, been using it a ton, honestly. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm okay with it being used in this context. Um anytime before you regain the use of this feature, the DM can have you roll in the wild magic search table immediately after you cast a sorcerer spell first level or higher. Yeah. Okay. Um so I kind of wanted to take this out of out of my hands, um, mostly because I would just forget. Um, and so Megan is going to uh, Megan has yeah. agreed to Thank be you, Megan. the decider. The DM this, has a lot to keep uh, track of, so we appreciate it. Yes, we that. appreciate it. So <laughs> yeah, and I like, and I like I like the idea of a little bit of randomness. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, honestly, why be yeah. a wild magic sorcerer if you don't want to surge sometimes? Come on. Right? Yep. Like... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> why okay. play this character without that? Um, and then, Mazo, you rolled a 13. Now, yes. with... Am, am I correct in remembering that while you're wearing your, your breastplate, um, you, need to, you need to roll at disadvantage? Well, yeah, I did it at advantage or regular because if we had advantage and she gets this advantage, then it's just thank you, right? thank you, yeah. thank you, yeah, yeah. All right, um, so yeah, you succeed in in sort of so so you are um, you've snuck into the scolded part of the uh, of the caravan where they have their their wagons all circled up, um, and under the direction of uh mayor roundtree uh the local militia the black cross militia led now by one slade ashrain um Ooh. provide you with yes, a please. little bit of a diversion to to enable you to uh sneak in um the militia uh comes comes a knocking at the uh at the um Skulden section of the caravan um, and are are met by, you know, as they're spotted approaching, the militia are spotted approaching, uh, some members of the Bastard brand led by Caridwin come down to meet them. Um, you, you hear uh, some conversation going on between them that very quickly becomes an argument. It sounds to you like uh, the, the militia is suspecting some illegal activity happening uh, at the uh, in the in the Skulden wagons. That somebody uh, somebody among the Skulden uh, or group of people have been hoarding food, um, and they want to conduct an inspection. And of course, Caridwin and the Bastard Brand are are raising a big stink, um, refusing to allow the the militia uh, access to their wagons and carriages. Um, to, to conduct the inspection um, and pretty soon as as you're sneaking aboard 
uh, you you hear some shouting uh, turn into fisticuffs being thrown, um, and you hear a little, you know some some evidence that there's a little bit of a brawl between members of the bastard brand and the uh, the local militia. Um, eventually, but, but the discretion cooler heads are nowhere to be found. But the discretion is are nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, soon enough, cooler heads prevail among uh, Slade and Caridwen, uh, and you know, spitting curses uh, and and um, rude epithets about each other's parentage. Uh, both the leaders of uh, the the official militia and the unofficial Skulden militia. Uh, kind of, you know, separate their forces away from each other and and Slade growls something about, like, mm, I'll, I'll be back! And Caridwen shouts back, The hell you will! We are leaving! Damn you all to hell! Uh, there is a tremendous uproar that you hear among the Skaldin cursing this awful uh, humiliation and discrimination that they face at the hands of uh, at the hands of um, the other races in the caravan um, and within the hour uh, the Skulden have all packed up their wagons hitched their horses and they have separated away from right the rest of the caravan before. and they continue their journey to Luxara on their own. They Flutter as they separate. Yeah. Before they separate. Yeah. Before they separate. Yeah. Yeah. Kiona has to cast the spell to put the dragon in the wagon. We need um, the dragon wagon. The dragon wagon <laughs> has to happen first. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh wait, hold Post on. Post it what in happened? chat. Hold on, hold Post on. Post the hold spell on. in chat. Hold on. Oh my god, I can't. I need to. I need to pull up my wild magic search table. For some reason, it's not letting me do that. But let me post that spell for you. Give me one second. This yeah. is our spell. Yeah. Uh, it's VSM. Uh, it's a level five spell. How to? Guys. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, it's VSM. So yeah. I don't. I'm. Eh. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be a hard sell that you're able to cast this have... while remaining hidden. I know. Would you have Warcaster though? Like I do that? have Warcaster, but it allows you to to do it without the uh, the somatic, which is the hands, right? Mm, yeah. Because you, you could be holding spell? a shield uh, or something like that's the the excuse is that you should be holding like some kind of. Uh, things in yeah. your hands to prevent you from okay. being able to do those things. So she does yeah. have that. Uh, so you don't have to do your jazz hands. I don't have to do the jazz hands. I'll just put that out there. Your subtle spell? And she does... Oh, she does have subtle spell! <laughs> oh! Without any semantic right. or, verbal or verbal components. components. Okay. So, uh, okay. uh, yeah, that's for oh, one source. Yeah, the dragon point. wagon. She oh, will. Right. You'll have to. She will cast yep. a dragon wagon, and uh, the luckily like you have that because my wagon. yeah. So my my interpretation of verbal components in a spell, just just so we know, is that this is this is not you like going like. Uh, this is this is like Gandalf, right? Oh, in the yeah. Lord of the Rings movies, where he's like, oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like <laughs> the skies darken, and he suddenly yeah. like grows a bit bigger as he, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mazra's interpretation of that is, you've got to wake up the lazy ass gods, right, to actually get some shit done. Yeah, you know? right, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh. Okay. What the heck? Hold on a minute. Let me open my. I gotta. There we go. I've got my wild. I've got my search table up now. Open now. Well, it's let's okay. roll on it. Uh, oh yeah. Oh oh. Are we doing that because the we dragon did the dragon? Wagon. I, mean, I mean, I feel like <laughs> yeah, you, it, it has roll. to happen, right? It has to be happening. You're it rolling happens. it. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. You guys. You're rolling it. Megan. Megan is not telling you to surge, so you're rolling it. <gasps> I lost my dice. Okay. I'll do it with this. <laughs> oh god okay all right it's amazing that's a d10 and a n a d oh where is it there it is the percentile i don't know megan <laughs> yeah i think i think she hit her wild magic surge dice roller so hard that the it, dice yeah flew out. It, it opened too wide and oh let the God. dice go out the end of it and then oh launched. no it, they launched i don't know where they went <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so the first roll is a 52 because she's level 14 now she gets to roll twice on the wild magic surge table and choose. did she surge Oh yeah, that's what surge? we just said, right? That's what you guys were saying. No, 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 no. You rolled the actual. Oh. Yeah, roll the roll the d twenty. She rolled the actual. It's eleven, so that wouldn't be a surge. I was so excited to have a surge, though, guys, and that second one turned into an eighty. Megan, no. That was a round number that just showed up. Oh, you're kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh, oh, and it's a good one too. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, does doesn't she get to pick the surge? She she, she does. Oh. But that's what I'm saying. Oh like, no, no, no. If, but no, no what surge. Megan what Megan is saying, what Megan is saying is that she's gonna decide when it happens, not not that it just happens whenever. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. I see. Okay. Yeah, she's talking about the surge itself, she's not the gonna... surge result. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I meant like, well, because Flump said to roll. I I meant roll. Yeah, you roll the, the die. The surge yeah. table to see oh, if you yeah, surge. Yeah, the regular right? surge. So yeah. I, yeah. I didn't then. Yeah. That's what I meant. Sorry. It's it's confusing. It's confusing. I'm a lot so of confused. Rolling. I'm so excited to roll those <laughs> Sorry. <guys. laughs> Sorry. It's okay. The probability goes up to a three. With that, then. That's that's what I was thinking. Right. It was the Where surgeon. Did those dice go? Oh, one of them yeah. Okay. I gotta, I'm, I'm nice. Set my thing. I'll... All right. Okay. So you cast this spell, and what what does it look like when you summon your draconic spirit? So because she's summoning it inside of this wagon, I assume that these wagons are gonna kind of look like a a wagon from like little house on the prairie with the big covers. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I sent we you need... I sent you a screenshot. We need... of oh, what... oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me look at that real quick. But um she's going to try to cast it. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to try to cast it so that it's undercover uh where it's at mm. in the wagon. Um and so mm. really it's just gonna, it's it's not gonna look like much because she's not using her lasso uh, because of the that whole being hidden thing or the verbal component. She's just gonna use the little uh, carving that she's got of the dragon from Eldrigo and she'll be holding it in her little hidden place and she might whisper to it or something uh, and uh, send it over to that dragon and suddenly, uh, to anyone in the vicinity of that wagon or inside of the wagon itself, a dragon will appear. Uh, and it will crackle a little bit with lightning because it's an Eldrigo mm. dragon. It's an Eldrigo dragon, yeah. Yeah. So, the blue, uh, the blue scales and the lightning, yeah. A dragon in a, in a hidden in a cart. That's what we're doing. Excellent. Excellent. And so, as the caravan of Skulldin trundles along, alone, leaving the rest of the refugee caravan behind, they move through the increasingly densely wooded countryside of the Luxara hegemony on their way to the capital city of Luxara itself. As you travel, um, you spot with gradual yet increasing frequency small figures up on the hillside, 
up in the trees, just watching the procession of wagons pass by with cold, frowning, suspicious stares. And you realize that what Grandfather warned you of has indeed come to pass. That this, uh, this, this faction of reactionaries within elven society sees that the uh, the the impure half-breed Skulden have split off from the rest of the herd and like the weak antelope are a prime target. Um, the attack comes. <laughs> They're not aware that the discretionaries are there, Bo. Uh, <laughs> the the anticipated attack comes. Um, couple a couple of a uh, little little while later. I know that I know that your dragon spirit has a casting time of one hour. Cinematic purposes, a few hours pass. Um, your dragon spirit is still up, though. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we'll, yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel the ground beneath the wagons start to shake a little bit. And you hear the thundering of many hooves in the distance behind you. Up in the sky to the west whence you came you see little figures up in the blue yonder thinking at first that it is a flock of birds as it gets closer and closer you realize those are far too big to be birds and as they approach closer yet you see that they have leathery wings, long necks, and long prehensile tails that end in spikes. You also see that they are um, lashed to them, strapped to them, are leather saddles, and rising on top, riding on top of those saddles are small humanoid figures. Right. And at this point, we are going to begin the chase. Oh, so, I'm going to transfer you <laughs> to this map. <laughs> what? Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my All right. So, this is going to be uh, something similar to let me let me put on some more uh more tense music this is this is way too this is way too i know uh, foodle's just enjoying a leisurely stroll way too through chill the forest music. right now yeah, yeah. We're like... <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you remember way back about a year ago actually pretty pretty close to a year ago Has i'm it pretty been sure that long holy um, cow yeah yeah um while we were in the Lost Dunes, uh, as you were approaching Galthor's Tower, we had a, a little bit of a um, little bit of a homebrewed kind of combat session where you had a giant purple worm chasing you through the desert, um, and it was it was similarly a, a high speed, high movement based encounter. Uh, you have a similar situation going on here. Uh, where you need to try to reach uh, the safety, the relative safety of uh, Luxara before um, you can be basically derailed and uh, killed off and, and destroyed, the, the wagons destroyed by the attackers. Um, you have Grandfather's very impressive wagon right here. Ooh. 
Um, you have two other wagons, two other smaller wagons right here. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour. Let's look at the small wagons first. So I'm gonna zoom in on the bottom one here. Okay. Um, you have a Skulden driver uh, driving a team of two horses. Immediately behind him, facing forward in a forward 45 degree firing arc. So I'm just gonna freehand this. Roughly like so can fire in that direction. Um, is a... Oh, that's gonna... Just... I don't want it to delete the horses, too. Um, <laughs> you have a, uh, a ballista. Um, and I sent you... Yeah, something like that. Um, Apparently that's 40... Is that 45? It is. That is not 45, but roll 20 Doesn't is look weird. like 45 to me, but that's yeah. what it has been. Weird. Right. Yeah, roll twenty is weird with the way it, it measures that. Um, but I bet you, I bet you, if you That's sent true. it like in this direction, it would be better. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Go back to go back to math class. Roll twenty. Um. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, a forty a forty five degree fire arc. You have this ballista forty feet facing forward. I sent you the the attack values for a ballista in our group chat. Yes. Out the back is a heavy crossbow. Uh, now, unfortunately, these smaller wagons are not independent objects of the map, uh, so I can't move them around. Um, would be better if we could, but but I wasn't able to figure out exactly how to do that. Um, so, same 45 degree firing arc out the rear. The other small wagon has the same thing, ballista in front, um, heavy crossbow in the rear. Up here on the big cart, um, you have heavy crossbow, heavy crossbow, right, that are able to fire uh, 45 degrees in this direction and in this direction, right, and then up top, you have a heavy crossbow that can be maneuvered and fired in any direction. And then you have two ballista that can be maneuvered and fired in any direction. However, the these ballista, in order to rotate and aim them, uh, take a move action or regular action. So in order to orient them and fire them in the same turn, you need to be standing next to them and use your move action to aim and your action to fire. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it would it basically it takes your whole move action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Or or um, regular action. Anyway. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. It takes it takes basically I can't click yeah. on Kiona. Basically it takes your turn. Um <laughs> That seems bad. Why would you not be able to click on Kiona? Oh yeah, I can't click on Foodle. Wait, what? Oh, I know why. Oh. Okay. I was on the wrong layer when I oh, posted the map. Okay. There she is. There we go. Okay. There should be clickable now. Aha. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, All right. That's the wrong one. I had to put concentration. So in you are. You are moving at a rate of 60 feet per round. Um, and these two are the only Skulden that are with us, question mark? Are there any Yeah, Skulden so, so right here, so this red roof yeah. uh, up at the front is also, it doubles as sort of the steering house. Uh-huh. Um, so this is like, this ballista is on top of it, and then the red roof itself is covering the steering house. There is a Skulden driver in there. Okay. Now, occasionally, you are going to run into twists, turns, obstacles in the forward movement, uh, in which case an animal handling check is going to need to be made, um, to, to steer the vehicle. Kiona would have brushed um, the horses ahead of time with her uh, brush from Athema. That gives her bonus on animal handling. 
I am going to veto that. No. Because you, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, because you were hiding. Would... You're hiding in stealth. Yeah, make sense. Yeah. Right. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's uh, <laughs> okay. It's good. Um. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So animal handling checks. They the uh, drivers have their own animal ha animal handling skill. Um. Any of you can take their place, if you want. Um. That's a that's a better angle right there. Okay, that's ninety. That that's is what roll twenty says. I guess Which so. I, yeah. I guess it that's is. That's a ninety degree angle, yeah. Okay. A right angle okay. is a ninety degree. Right. I'm gonna say oh, that's the. I'm gonna say that's the firing arc. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, sorry. That's the. Yeah. We're gonna say that's the firing arc. Um. So yeah, any of you can replace them, if you want. Um. If you reach one of these ballistae, uh, you can use your action to rotate it and lock it in place. For the next turn um yeah enemies are going to be coming at you primarily from behind but they may come at you from the front and this is going to be a relative movement speed encounter right so the the base movement speed is 60 for this map um basically um yeah the base movement speed is going to be 60 um enemy movement whether they're able to catch up with you is going to be like their movement speed minus 60, if that makes sense. Um, and if you are not able to effectively pass an animal handling check um, to, to make a turn and maintain your speed while doing so, then uh, you'll probably slow down the next turn and give okay. the enemies a chance to catch up. All right. Um, your goal grandfather is inside this wagon oh is he and you know that your goal yeah he is okay. and you know no pressure, that your goal right? is to yep yeah, uh you know that your goal is to get him to luxara okay. um okay ghost i have a, I yeah i think i have a question so a lot of foodles oh yeah we'll do initiative um, a lot of Foodle's uh, maneuvers uh, say when you hit a creature with a weapon attack. Do these ballista mm. and everything, do they count as weapon attacks? E no. No? No. Okay. All right, let me... Let me get Foodle on the initiative tracker, but I'll roll it. All right. Manually. And while you guys are getting yourself sorted, I will be back shortly. Uh, I just need to get myself a glass of water. Well, okay, I'm going to quick AFK real started. quick, too. Um, uh, do we want to position, though, around different sides of this thing? Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that. You can position move? yourself anywhere okay. you want on okay. that. You can even position yourself on one of these smaller carts if you want to. And of course, you can use your, your freedom of movement, your misty steps and things like that to move from, from cart to cart. Okay. Right? Do we okay. want to stay all on this one, you guys? Or do we want to spread out? Uh, I don't know. I'm nervous to put Foodle on a different cart. Because he doesn't really have any Movement. good ways of getting around. Yeah, yeah. I know Mazra does. And Kiona <laughs> but... has Misty Step, but... I mean, how many... Uh... Yeah, I mean, that's... Something she can do. If she needs to move. But I don't know. I feel like probably they'd be just all in the same one, right? Yeah, what do you think, Mazra? She might okay. move around if necessary. Okay. Right. But starting on the I don't know if it's necessary like right at the start, but Right. Okay. Now where would Mazra start? Would she start as like a little right barrel of ammunition, like next to one of these, or what are you thinking? Yeah, because she can she can pop herself up there immediately if she needs to. But having oh, somebody near that would be useful right away. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, Foodle could be like a little, you know, like there's these big bolts, you know, maybe that would be in the barrel or something, and he could disguise himself as that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if that's true, I could have, I could have Mazra over on this wagon over here. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, right? Because Mazra, she can kind of go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the dragon goes on her turn, right? The only thing I'm worried about is the potential for the bad guys to be able to take out one of those smaller wagons, or something like that. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's true. Yep. There she went. Mazra, she's quick. <laughs> yeah, if we'll see, we'll see. All right, are we ready, friends? Yeah, Ghost. I, I, I you posted the um, the stuff for us, which uh, the, like the ballista yeah. and the heavy crossbow. Do you, yep. Um, yep. With Foodle's attacks, he gets to add his dex to that stuff. Same or different with these? So. Yeah, so so when we're talking about like using your class abilities and your stats and things like that, um, you the the ballista are going to be considered independent of your character's abilities. Gotcha. So the okay. stats that are posted are the stats. Gotcha. Um, the let me let me just make sure that I haven't made that horribly unfair for you though. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, the ballista, the ballista is that that attack bonus, that damage. Uh, the heavy crossbow you may consider to be a weapon fired by your character, like a like a regular handheld weapon. Okay. So you can use your class abilities with the heavy crossbows, things like that. Okay. You know what? Foodle's gonna be. Is this a heavy crossbow? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Okay. No, Grandfather's in the big one. Yeah, he's underneath the cover here. All right. So, um, enemies are going to be going on initiative, uh, initiative 20 and 15 Ooh. so oh boy here we go we're going to <laughs> start Thank off goodness kiona already had the dragon cast him <laughs> we're gonna start off light uh i'm gonna i'm gonna be asking you to imagine if you will uh that these these characters are riding horses um, okay. because I didn't like any of the horse tokens that, oh, <laughs> that were yeah. available to me. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. They're terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Make a mounted character for a thing. Anyway, it's yeah. It's yeah. Also, Ghost, okay. remember, we're all hiding in barrels or crates. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe. Unless they So. <laughs> Uh, these guys are going to move up in force. Uh, you see uh, behind you, um, you see basically uh, three heavy, heavily armored elves uh, and two archers mounted on horseback, uh, chasing, chasing chasing the, the wagons down, uh, thundering on horseback here. Um, a horse's walking speed is 60 feet, uh, and so they are going to dash, and they're going to dash at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And they're all going to ride up on you. Um, and that is unfortunately all they can do this turn. Uh, Foodle. Okay. Um, 
goes does uh, I, I hesitate to ask this, but does Foodle have line of sight on any of those guys? Because I feel like he doesn't. <laughs> no, There's because like this aft here. this aft castle is pretty big. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are I I neglected to I neglected to mark it in oh, wow, um, dungeon draft. But there are actually ladders. Yeah, I see. There's one Rangers. there. And then... Yeah, but I didn't mark ladders from the the ground floor up to oh, up to there oh, so there's nice. actually one there one there one there and one there okay is the structure at the back of this uh wagon like basically solidly all the way down like this is the yeah the yeah, yeah yeah room essentially yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, from where Kiona is, well, never mind. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, and you're talking, this is like, what's the standard roof height? Like, this is like, is there any chance that we up, can adjust this our, is another 12 feet? our positioning based on that, yeah, I that didn't, new no, knowledge? I, hmm, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> Is my question I am going you... to I'm gonna let you roll dexterity and based on your roll just a regular dexterity check and based on your roll I'll tell you how many feet you can move from your current position okay off your turn I really only want okay. to move one little square but okay uh dexterity pure look baby Jesus. all right <laughs> I got oh ooh. all right uh, Kiona I, you can move dexterity. you can move you can move up to you can move up to your movement. Okay, Damn. then she's going to to get. She just wants to be up up on a high spot. Okay. Um, and Kay. so yep. that's yeah. Yep. Okay. Foodle got an eleven plus five. Just raw dexterity, right? Yeah. Okay. Eleven plus five for sixteen. Yep. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say you can move. What's your walking speed? Twenty five feet. 25, yeah. I'm going to say you can move 15 feet. Okay. Um, ignoring in, ignoring any movement cost for, like, ladders to change elevation. You can move oh, okay. laterally 15 feet. So I can move, like, three feet as the crow flies. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's three spaces. Right. As Poodles the a barrel flies. up here uh, again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness. Um, all right. Uh, shit, and it's Foodle's turn. Oh, God. Um, now, Ghost, how do, how did the Ballista interact with multi-attack? Because Foodle has three attacks per attack action now. Does not interact with multi-attack. Ah. All right. Well, Foodle's gonna be like... But it does oh, deal, as you can see, it does deal a boatload of damage. Well, not compared to what Foodle can do with Gimbal Shot. I guess so. <laughs> I guess um, so. So Foodle's gonna be like, okay, I guess it's time. And he's gonna take aim and assuming, now this is up to you, Ghost, whether they've rolled mm. perception or not, um, to mm. know if Foodle's in a barrel, but if he's an unseen attacker, he might have advantage on the first shot out of the barrel. Yeah, I was gonna say he has advantage on the first shot. Okay. All right. So. Frick. Uh, I guess he's going to attack this one here um, at advantage. All right, come on. Oh, that's a hit. Okay. Um, and we are because it's a hit. Uh, we are gonna do a superiority die. And this guy needs to make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. And the DC is 18. So we'll roll that damage. He just makes it. Oh, all right. Shit, that would have been nice. Uh, all right, so no more advantage. Um, Boodle is 
going to... Yeah, I think that's all he can really do. Uh, ooh. Fiona! Wait, what was that? What was the thing? Shit. What was it? The, 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 our code word. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what Flame the code on! word was. <laughs> Flame on! All right, Foodle draws his longbow, um, and he fires one of those... How many does he have left? Because he's got some fire arrows. Oh, jeez, he's almost out. Okay. Uh, he fires one of his last fire arrows um, and hits the same guy. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. what's the range? No, he's going to hit this one. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it hits. Um, okay. 16. That is a hit. Oh, okay. Um, and goes the way that we had ruled it. It doesn't deal any extra fire damage, I don't think. I must mm. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just something that Kiona can interact with, uh, with one of her yep. spells. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Gimbal Shot finishes reloading. Fudo just drops the longbow and fires Gimbal yep. Shot again at this one here for his third attack. All right, come on. Three attacks. Oh, God. Uh, that does not hit. We're going to try to turn that miss into a hit. An 18 should hit, question mark. Yep. Okay, and we'll throw Colossus Slay for one damage. Okay. All right, so 20. Hey, this guy hey, is looking what? very hurt. Nice, okay. All right, and that is... And this guy has a fire arrow sticking out of it. He's like, with, with this. Uh, this is wedged in his armor. <laughs> Fudo's going to scoot back down here and ghost. How much movement does it take to get up and down this ladder? Uh, I'm going to say you climb at half speed, right? We're going to we're gonna call the ladder difficult terrain. It's okay. going to take double your movement to move through a ladder into the next space. Okay. And, and how much... So, 10 feet. 10 feet. 10 feet, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Foodle's going to stand there at the top of the ladder. <laughs> okay. See, oh, out of sight of them. We'll see. All right. You don't know you're up? Foodle's turn. Maz are on deck. Uh, oh, my God. Kiona, wait. I hate to say this, but didn't you say that you had people that were going on 15? I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> um Yes, yet. but they're not oh, they're not here yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh thank goodness. Sorry. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna yeah. Okay. Uh so upon hearing Foodle uh give Kiona the signal here. Oh, how did my turn order to get moved over there? Uh Kiona is going to cast Pyrotechnics. Can she see them? Um, no. Okay. Because you've got you've got this this tower that's like twelve feet high from your elevation, walking you. Then Kiona will first move up next to Poodle so she can just make it with her 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We'll get her to the top of the ladder. Yep. Okay. Oh. So uh, in that case, hold on. Oof. Yeah, she's still going to have to use. What? She's going to. Make it do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh All right. my god! Uh, you cast. Do you, you cast? Do you cast spell? before you surge, or do you surge before you cast? I think she casts and then. How does it work? I think you cast and then surge. Yeah. Right. So she is casting pyrotechnics. Uh. Mhm. Mm and um, 
that will blind Ooh. anybody. Well, uh, yeah. Tiger Beast blows the dazzling display of colors. Each creature within 10 feet of the target must succeed on Constitution saving throw or become blinded. I did good! Constitution saves. Oh, they all have they're to roll. All, they're all in they're 10 feet. Promises. They're all in 10 okay. feet. That was choice, oh, DC, That was choice. DC 17. I did it! Okay. I did the that thing! That was so good. Well, we, we did We were the talking thing. about oh. dumping this spell because we never use it, but this is pretty fucking choice. I'm not going to lie. That's so good. Foodle gives Kiana um, a high five. <laughs> Before yeah, she surges. Right? Oh, God. And or as she, she surges. surges. As she surges, right? <laughs> oh, so, uh -oh, okay, here you're going to regret that. You're this is regret the surge, that. you guys. What have I done? I get to roll twice. That's on the this, right? This is not rolling on the surge. Is this yeah, no, you actually don't having a surge? It just surges. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Uh, the first one is in the 65. Okay. And the second one is a 42. No round numbers oh, this time, you guys. Shit. Uh, all right. A 65. Is up to three creatures you choose within 30 feet of you. Take 4d10 lightning damage. Uh, Woo! Oh, wait. Uh, 30 feet. Shit. Right. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, <laughs> 42. Doesn't it say that you choose, though? I do get to choose. choose 42 none. is you turn into a potted plant. No. Um, just. God. You just guys. The... You're going to. Yeah. God. You're gonna damage or being a unicorn. Yeah, oh, or do, do the ten useless. damage. Yeah, um, or the forty ten or whatever. Yeah. Wait, hold on though. Yep, do it to Foodle. No, actually, do it to Foodle. no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm choosing the potted plant because Foodle's gonna see it happen. He is standing right next to her, and he can break the plant. It, what? Ha what? Is that possible? What do you mean? Oh wait. Never mind. How long no. are you a potted plant? I, I do not choose the potted plant. Never mind. <laughs> Thank that would drop you. Concentration oh, on God. the other thing. Yeah. That was a we bad. Need the dragon. I'm. I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of polymorph. Is what I'm thinking. Is if she. So like, Foodle high fives Kiona, but and then it's a little more. It's spicy a little bit than spicier you. than maybe <laughs> the the, the proximity to Eldrigo makes it be like a yeah. sparky oh, high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's an arc right, there's I an arc the between now. the draconic spirit and you <laughs> and foodle is just unfortunately in the way so roll that damage on foodle oh my god oh, it's fine it's fine make it a big one let's see it hell yeah oh my god. <laughs> make it no let's see that damage uh oh, a food slash not rolling roll it? space for d10. Oh yeah, you're well, rolling I can roll it. it. I'm not, oh, it's, it's me. It's thing. me. It's your. I'm it's your sorry, spell I'm effect. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's 22 uh, lightning 22 damage. 22 lightning though, damage. Also oh. though, also though, there's a problem here. Oh yeah. Because the old man is in 30 feet of us too. Yeah, but you choose. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta deal damage to at least one, but you choose. Yeah. You oh, don't okay, have to all, deal right. all right. To everything does it does it say control. does it say up to? No, Are the it... words up to in there? What does it say? Oh, you up to th up to three creatures you choose within thirty feet. There you go. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. okay. There you so go. it only has to be one. Yep. I'm stuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, that's okay. But look, they're, they're blind. We did it! Did they fail the checks? Okay. Something. Yeah, so these three right here failed their checks uh, as your the the arrow thunked into this one's armor uh, and and she's just like, what, what the? And she's trying to put it out and then you cast your spell and it just like like bloody 4th of July fireworks go off uh these three are blinded by the display uh these two manage to like, just power through it um is that the end of your turn no well kiona's but yep and your draconic <laughs> spirit is gonna go on your initiative oh. <laughs> 
Kiona has a hidden dragon, you guys. Uh, the dragon okay. wagon. The dragon wagon. Uh, there <laughs> is. I'm hoping there's some kind of window or hatch at the back end of this dragon. At this, uh, is well, there? If there isn't, can it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just gonna burst forth from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here it is. It's Boom. gonna burst forth. Yes. There is a there is a window at the back, but it's much too it's small too for small. a large creature to fit through. <laughs> <laughs> much too small. Something Kyoto had not so, considered. And <laughs> so the dragon just blasts through the window, takes to the sky. I believe right. you can control that token. Yes. Uh. I should, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can move. And these, and these, and this, 60 this feet guy, flying. This guy, <laughs> this guy is like, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> and the ones who are blind are like, what? What? What is it? Oh god, they don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So the dragon is gonna fly. Um, when you're controlling a large creature, the the spaces still count as just five feet, right? Like five. 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 15, yep. 20. Yeah. Oh my god, fuck them up. Oh wait, hold on. How close do I need to get for the breath weapon? Thirty foot cone. <laughs> and we're gonna say we're gonna say the dragon is ten feet up right now. Okay. Okay, yeah, Christ. so so Jesus. the okay. dragon is going to fly just enough forward to, uh, what is, what is happening? Why is, oh, it's snapping to center. Um, and as it's swooping in on them, exhale its breath weapon. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So they have a um, dex save. Dex save. Against my spell save um, DC is uh, the 17. Ones, like, do they have disadvantage or something? Because they don't even know what's happening. <laughs> right. I don't know. I mean, that's yeah, not I think, they, I think they do. Yeah. I think they do. Yeah, the blinded ones. <laughs> they just definitely. heard the guy, like, make a um, comment, but still don't know what's really coming. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it actually? Is it actually only 2d6 damage for this breath weapon? Uh, I feel I feel like it's not, and I feel like you were supposed to update. Because I think, I think this spell scales. Oh, I think the spell oh, scales. Shit. And I think uh, you didn't scale it. Oh god, I haven't. Because oh, 2d6 crap. seems pretty low for. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Oh wait. No, not according to the stat block. Oh, uh, Draconic Spirit. It's from Fizbins. So weird, yeah. It's just two d six. But that's okay because it has more than uh, more than one attack. Breath weapon is just one of its attacks. Okay. Well, oh, because it can do rend and because it's getting rend breath and weapon. breath weapon. Yeah. Oh, I see. And it's an AOE. So okay, okay. that's why. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. On the da. So that's what I'm saying, like on the way flying to them. Right, because it's going to. The dragon it's gonna does have the breath weapon, and then it's going to come in and just slap at something. All right. It's amazing. Um, these three fail. <gasps> the top two succeed. Uh, so it's 2d6 lightning oh, damage. Yeah. All right, roll my damage. Half as much on a successful save. Six damage, lightning. Okay. This one dies. Yeah. <laughs> um, and these ones take three damage. 
and and the dragon will continue to fly forward to reach them. Uh, and it can do rend attacks equal to half the spell's level rounded down. So like uh, two rend attacks because it's like a level five spell. So it's like that, right? Uh, so it's going to, it has to hit um, things that are within 10 feet of it. I think it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. Yeah, it can easily get here. Um, yep. So it's going to it's gonna rend uh, the strongest looking of these two guys. Probably him, question mark? The one that looks least beat up? Where? Um, or I guess... It would have a... Yeah, you can't tell. You can't tell that. They look They look fairly They look fairly Oh, it would have advantage against... Oh. Out of these two guys. Uh, I can't see the well, okay, then it'll hit this one first, and then it'll hit that one second if that one dies. Um, can I just roll it like that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh. All right. All right. Roll damage on the first one. Um, can I just do this? There it is. And which one are you attacking first? Uh, the one, the blinded one. The blinded one? Okay. All right. Claws rip through the armor, drawing blood. Why did that one get a plus two? Yeah, because it's a crit. Oh, um, oh So I it's see. actually plus six, not plus two. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Uh... This one's starting to look hurt. Pretty All bloodied. Right. Um, yeah. And so the aspect of Eldrigo Dragon is just kind of in there, beating its wings in their faces. Uh, yeah. At the end of the What's turn. the fly speed? It's 60 feet. Of the uh, aspect of Eldrigo? Okay. 60 feet, yeah. Okay. So it'll, it'll be able to maintain relative distance. Um, 60 feet? Yeah of flying speed is what it's going to take for it to maintain its position right. and not fall back and further. Not, Does that well, make sense? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go further away from So the wagon, if, yeah. if it wants to fly in this direction, it's going to have to use the dash like action. Twice it's, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got okay. It. Which is the same as these guys. They, they cannot advance on the caravan um, using, using their regular horses. Right. Without using the dash action. Um, all right. Is that your turn? That is Kiona's turn. Yes. All right, Mazra, you're up. Um, did you say what's this? Did I say what? Which one is this? That is a heavy crossbow. And you can target any one of those guys that are inside that range. Okay. How bad does this dude look? Which one? Sorry. This guy. Pretty hurt. Okay. She'll just try and shoot him. I don't know. How do I roll this? It just says your ranged attack. What does that mean? Uh, the same way that you would roll any ranged attack. Okay. Um... If your character has proficiency with heavy crossbow, which I think they do. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Oh, you don't. Okay. I have so hand crossbow. All right. Uh, minus your proficiency bonus from that. Uh, so what's your proficiency five? bonus? Yeah. Okay. So 22 minus 5 is 17. So that'll hit. Uh, five piercing damage. Okay. Uh, you get to and add then... anything to that that you normally would. Um... Uh, I can't. Because it's um, okay. ranged. Uh, but I do, because that's an attack, I do get to attack again. 
because it doesn't it doesn't specify that it has to be melee. Okay. Yep. Do it. Okay. Minus five. Okay. Minus five. That still hits. Okay. For ten damage. Yeah. All right. The second crossbow bolt catches catches him in the neck. Her in the neck. Actually, we we established that was a her. Uh, catches her in the neck, uh, and she lets out like a grog and and falls off her horse, hits the ground, rolling into the dust. Nice, Mazra. You probably could have had your sneak attack as well, but you didn't even right. need it. <laughs> I don't think sneak attack... Does that sneak attack work on... On ranged? Yeah, it works oh. on any... I think, um, yeah. I think it works. All right. Oh, um, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you did... Is that your turn? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, it is the environment's turn. Um, and now we're going to roll a uh, series of rolls here. So a turn comes up in, in the track. Uh, I'm going to need everyone to make an athletics check or acrobatics check your choice as a turn a sharp turn comes up in the path and the wagons that you're riding suddenly lurch to one side uh flying creatures such as the draconic spirit do not need to make this check watch out uh oh crap okay well Ooh. little kind of nat 20 for All right. 31. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Um All right. You you guys are good. Uh the cart, the driver of the cart that Mazra is on, uh found the corner to be a bit sharp to take. Uh the the turn the turn is in in sort of this direction, so they need to turn right. Um, and this big wagon kind of sandwiched uh, this this one in, and they they kind of felt like squeezed in the turn, uh, overcorrected a little bit, jostled, uh, and they fall behind. And this is the, one of the limitations of um, what's the program that we use Dungeon Draft is I wish uh, oh, maybe yeah. maybe there is a way but I wish I wish I could use dungeon draft to make tokens rather than just maps but there's there's got to be a way to do that make a I make a little it? make a little map and then and then edit out the uh background or something I don't know yeah um, just have like a, a like a map with a yeah. contrast like a green is I don't know either. yeah um but we're going to go 10 15 20 25 30. Just pretend this is this is where the wagon is. Right? <laughs> this is where the wagon is now. Um, <laughs> oh god. There you go. Alright, so this wagon is now back here. Uh, with Mazra at the back and, and this one uh, driving in the front. Alright. Um, it is the it is the elves turn. Okay? Um, and this time you see appearing behind you, and they are going to go on initiative 15, four more attackers. Um, two of them wearing Mazra, you notice, wearing purple robes that you feel are somewhat familiar. Wasn't the piece of fabric we found at the wearing... crime scene where Darfin disappeared? A purple robe? Yeah, it was. It was. It's not. It's not that. It's not that. Oh. It's not that. Oh. It's something much more, <laughs> much more recent in your past. Oh, much okay. more recent oh, in your okay. past. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that <laughs> breakout like just reaching, just reaching into the deep red. lore. 
<laughs> we're, we're reaching into the deep lore, game. forgetting, forgetting, yeah, yeah forgetting <laughs> what happened much. last yeah. Wednesday. A lot, of ha- a lot of things have happened this week, you guys. Kiona is a little overwhelmed, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. This one is going to make an attack against the Draconic Spirit. Uh, do a 19 and an 18 hit. Uh, on the Draconic Spirit. Yeah. Uh, armor class 14 plus spell level, so 5. 19 is the armor class. So 19, so 19, 19 hits. Will hit. Yeah. All right. The Draconic Spirit takes 16 damage. Okay. Uh, seven of it is piercing non-magical, and nine of it is poison. Okay, minus 16. There we go. Beautiful. It's on the token. Okay. Thank you. Um... Right. And then it is the archer's turns. Um, this one is blinded until the end of Kiona's next turn. Yeah, um, and so it is going to be high five was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it is going to be, I believe, I believe that's disadvantage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to shoot when blinded. Uh, she is going to shoot at the draconic spirit, which she knows is relatively its wings there-ish. somewhere nearish to the front of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Oh, 11. That's good. That's how good. Many, how many shots? How many shots does the archer get? Yeah, this is a multi. I felt I figured this was a multi attack, but I made this token. I made this monster sheet like so early that I eventually just started integrating multi attack into their their action like hot oh, bar. It's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> but I stopped. But I but but I only started doing that after a little while. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna roll another one. Oh, that's a twenty. Oh, that hits. Um, so and she is gonna use. Don't hit? Oh, wow. Sorry. These... Why did it? Why did it roll it twice that time? Cause yeah, I was gonna say. What the heck? Oh, it did roll it twice the first time. One was a nat one. Um, never mind. None of them hit. <gasps> never mind. El Trigo is with us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll use those two longbow maybe, attacks. Maybe the wings can this. buffet the arrows away mm. as they come come at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, give that little, yeah. little bit um, of gust. We'll use the we'll use the um, twenty three and the twenty one for this one who's not blinded okay. is going to shoot both of those at the draconic spirit. Sure. Okay. Um, for a total of, I'm going. She's going to use her archer's eye to buff that seven piercing damage into nine. Whoa! Two extra Dude, damage. I- uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that is tw- uh, nineteen damage Ooh, to ouch. the draconic spirit. That hurt. Yeah, as two more arrows thunk into its scaly hide. And it screams in lightningy pain. Whatever mm-hmm. that sounds like, crackle of electricity in the scream of a dragon. Psst. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, Foodle. All right. Foodle's going to recover from high-fiving Kiona, which, you know, it happens. Uh, Sorry. And he's, <laughs> and he's going to uh, fire at the one that was missing all of its shots. Uh, at advantage, because it's blind. Uh, hiya! Oh! <laughs> God. Yeah. That hits. Oh, you know what I need to do, Ghost? Um, Foodle is going to use his bonus action 
to cast Hunter's Mark as he's lining up the next shot, because I forgot it for that one. Uh, okay. So he's concentrating on that. Where is it? Concentrating. There we go. Uh, nope. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then he's going to fire again. That's good. Is this damage good? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and we're going to... We'll fire one more time. See how we do. 16. Mm. This is all against the blinded target? Yeah, to get the advantage. All right. Does a 16 hit, or do I need to use a superiority? 16 guy? hits. Oh, okay. All right, and so we roll hunter, or Hunter's Mark twice, and then Colossus Slayer once. So that is... Oh god, 42, 61, plus 9, 70 damage to the, this one here. That is lethal damage. <gasps> that archer <Yeah>. is dead. <laughs> dead. Poodle, Poodle high fives queuing again. Yeah. It's like, wait, oh no! <laughs> 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 it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then Poodle's going to scoot back next to her. And that's Poodle's All turn. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, this team in the rear, they get to go now. Um, now they have... What is the... Oh God. Yes. Yes. They're going to maintain their distance at 60 feet right now. Um, oh my god, there's no way they have that spell. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> why, why is he so happy? <laughs> All right. Okay, this one casts Ice Storm, and it is going to be centered. Circle. It is going to be centered, not right there because that'll hit his own his own friend. That's going to be centered right there, so that's going to hit the Draconic Spirit, as well as the uh, the the cart uh, that Mazra is on. How do you get Ooh. it to stay? How do you get it to oh, stay? Oh, there's a there at the bottom of that selection thingy, um, the, like the little box. There's a linger. Yeah option linger okay uh that wasn't it that was here that is a super handy function right there isn't that yeah. nice like oh thank you yeah me. that's really nice okay oh, um like that, that circle though <laughs> so a yeah, hail of was... rock hard ice pounds to the ground so this this caster back here uh <gasps> while while riding while riding her horse, uh, does does an incantation with her hands, uh, calls out, the sky above darkens, and just a hailstorm, a highly localized hailstorm, just dumps down onto Mazra uh, and the Draconic Spirit and this poor this poor bloke's head. Um, each Draconic creature in the cylinder must resisted. make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, is it to all types or is it to only I lightning? I don't know. I mean, it says cold fire, lightning, and poison. So the and makes me think it's all types. Right. Okay. 
Wow. Not not just the type that it was summoned with. Right. It says um, condition immunities, charm, fright, and poison. But damage resistance, cold fire, lightning, and poison. And poison. Makes me think the and. The and yeah. is the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, oh, Keona so creature... gains resistance to lightning via the summon. Not oh. that's why. That's why it's okay. special for that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, dexterity rolls for um, draconic spirit Dex and save, for Mazra. You said? Dex save. Yeah. Uh, I just did a straight Dex roll. Did that work for the dragon? Yeah. You not twenty bit, Jesus. Um, hey, okay. that guy will get Keona that is... guy will get a bonus because he's in my Wait, aura. Kiona doesn't oh, have to; right. she's not there. Thank you. Never mind. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so half damage for everybody. I take zero damage. Oh, that's not the right thing. That's what I meant to hit. She's got the thing. <laughs> She's got the thing. There you go. Oh! I take none. All right. Zero damage. Oh. Yep. Yep. Fuck you. Yep. It specifically no. says the ice storm spell. So, <laughs> so the dragon is going to take three damage from the bludgeoning and four damage from the cold. So minus seven altogether. Minus seven altogether. So the dragon uh, is, Mazra is gonna a take heart, zero guys. damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, this guy, this poor guy is gonna take what is that total? Twenty-three is gonna take eleven damage. Nice, that okay. aura. That aura. Alright. Um This this guy <laughs> is gonna take no chances, uh, and is going to cast Lightning Bolt. Now, let's see if I can get this right. Oh, yeah. Is going to cast Lightning Bolt on the cart that Mazra and uh, the Skulden is on. Uh, so I'm going to tag Lightning Bolt here. Cast at a level three. Oh, God. Um, DC 15 Ooh. dexterity save, if you please, Mazra. Wow. How am I rolling so high with these guys? Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Wait, does that mean Mazra takes no damage again? Mazra takes no damage again. What? what the hell? Uh, Mazra is is just like does oh, does a jump yes, and a backflip <laughs> over the me. lightning bolt. Hear Kiona <laughs> scream remember, over it. I think Mazra has less hit points than Kiona, so she has to not be able mm. to dodge shit. <laughs> yeah. but Unimpressed Kiona Yoda. Is cheering, <laughs> cheering her on. <laughs> All right. Um, this one is gonna make two longbow attacks against the the wagon. Um, as an eight and a thirteen. What was the dragon's AC? Nineteen. Um, uh, nineteen. She's gonna yeah. use Archer's Eye to try to turn that thirteen into a nineteen. And she does it. So eleven piercing damage to the dragon, if you please. And it's gone. Dragon only has it's eight gone. Left. Boom. No Bam. Uh, no, disappears. Disappears in sort of a, a an electrostatic cloud. Uh, as the dragon roars and its its roars fade in the distance. Um. Friends, what is the range on a longbow? I think it's pretty significant, isn't it? Like five feet. No, that's wrong. That ghost, it's 150 slash 600. Oh, perfect. Um, 
Foodle is going to get a couple arrows lobbed in his direction from oh, this does he archer get any right here. Cover having backed up off the top of it. Mm, yeah, you guys are on a slope. You get you have pretty significant cover, so she's not going to. Um, God. Wolf, I feel like I'm bullying you. But this is this is the tactical this is the tactical thing this uh, person would do. They can't they can't really see either Foodle or um, Fiona right now. Shit, I might have to stay as a target. I don't want Mazra getting bullied. All right, <laughs> Mazra eighteen and twenty to hit. Uh, does meets work or not? Meet meet hits. Yeah, meeting hits. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to use Archer's Eye to slapped. buff the 6 into a... So the 6 is now a 14, so 14 and 10. Okay. I will half that, I guess. The 14. Okay. Which basically puts it back at 6, right? 7? Yeah. 7. Yeah. Seven. Okay. Okay. Got it. So that is 17 damage in total. As two arrows thunk into your your hero spot right in the shoulder. No! Okay. Kiona, it is your turn. Uh, as the dragon poofs away and she sees uh, Mazra get hit by the arrow, uh, Kiona's, Kiona's got another dragon in her pocket and she said but yeah see where, where we got more where that comes from and so she hits oh, another shit. summon draconic spirit oh again God. she pulled it right what? back out makes it pop right back into existence right where it was when it disappeared oh shit. you just hear you no hear a distant shout hear a distant shout of our bank account <laughs> <laughs> um the, no, that doesn't the, cost, uh, the, the engraving doesn't is cost not destroyed. Time. No. Yeah. Yeah, she Thank can goodness. use it. <laughs> yeah. It was a good investment. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say that it consumes it. Indeed. Um, so goodness. this is the ten on the wild magic surge, uh, and the dragon will re yeah. reappear, um, right where it was. All right. And it's going to have its full hit 50 hit points. All hey. right. Well, back. Any anything else for Kiona move action bonus action? Uh no, I think she's going to stay right there. She likes being next to Foodle. He's good company. <laughs> uh but can the dragon go? If she summons it this way? Um round? Cast time is one action. Yeah. Yeah. Cast time is one action, not one hour. Right, right. Um Yeah, so the dragon the dragon can go. The draconic spirit can can go. Okay. Can you repopulate him again? Her again? Oh shoot. Them again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we love you. you. You're trying to keep us honest. It's up to you. Um it's right here. Stuff, it was right? right in the in the four between the yeah there yeah. Uh, okay, so it's going to use its rend attack on this guy right next to it that's still up. Bam, bam. Oh my god! Both of those hit. Jesus. So that's All right. Twenty-one total. Twenty-one piercing. Wait, what? That's not right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, did you roll for my wild I magic did. surge? I did. I rolled a ten. Okay. Yeah. Since you uh, surged, it resets to one. It, just so you know. It. Oh yeah. Even even though you surged off of. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah. All right. And I can use my Tides of Chaos again if I need to take advantage. Yeah, you have Tides of Chaos back. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, then it will do it. So this guy is still looking okay. The dragon it will Looks move. like that hurt, but, but right. he's still in the fight. The dragon will move here and do that breath weapon 2d6 damage uh to the two guys right there in front of it i believe okay it's a 30 foot cone okay. yeah just like that okay yep six damage all right six damage and that is dexterity saves Okay. The melee guy succeeds actually, Ooh. and so it takes three damage. Um, and then what's the spell save DC? Uh, seventeen. The archer succeeds as well. Oh. So three damage all around. All right. That is Kiona and her dragon. That is Kiona. All right. Mazra. Burb. Okay. Um, what's the, what's the distance on these guys? Crossbows. What do you mean? Like how far, what's the distance on them? How far can a crossbow reach? Yeah, the, well, this particular one. I forget what you said, if you said. Uh, well, that is just per a heavy crossbow, that heavy crossbow that you're using. So range yes. is 100. Yeah. 100? Okay. So yeah. she's going to shoot um, at this guy right here. All right. The mage. Okay. The mage. The mage. Okay. Where is that? Okay. Minus five. Minus five for yeah. twenty-two. Yep, Can that she... is a hit. Okay. Uh, I don't know that. She can do this though because with sneak because would she have advantage at this point because she's not next to the person right now she can't use her like no she can't sneak no. that's what i no. figured okay so she'll just no she'll try for the she reason that you could have used it before was because you were oh, I was hidden. next to the dragon yeah 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 oh yeah that's true because the dragon counts as an ally yeah I'm pretty decent All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Same one what for nine damage. Yes. There's the real wolf. Nice. I don't nice, know. Nice, nice. That's so good. I don't know. All right. Um. Does this? How is this guy looking? Does he look kind of rough right now? This guy. Yeah. What's he's his, what he look, looking? He's looking. He's looking beat up. He's looking beat up. So she's gonna. She's gonna move back step in the wagon and she's gonna um she's gonna like like is he looking like real beat up like kind of beat up sorry kind of beat up wait yeah. no i can't do that it's an action never mind i can't uh yeah. never mind i will instead is this a bonus Yes. So she's going to um, bonus action on this man, or whoever this is here. Mm. Uh, here. Okay. Plus two. Okay. Yeah, plus two AC on that. Cool. Okay. Good to know. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. I assume so. I assume there's not. Indeed. You're not really moving. <laughs> you're not no, really not moving anywhere. Right now. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, you need to put a concentration tag on your character. The just remember that, that you're using concentration. Whatever you want, whatever helps you remember. Yeah. Um, all right, another another turn, another bend in the path here, uh, and so we're gonna roll. roll some animal handling checks all right uh this time this guy succeeds on animal handling enough to gain some distance back yeah Ooh. nice all right um all right top of the round you hear a terrible screech coming in from the air as one of the flying creatures swoops down and you realize that this is a wyvern. Uh, it, it is a creature. It is a draconic creature. Um, it is not a dragon, but is related to dragons. Have, um, have we seen a wyvern before? You have not seen I was a wyvern say, before. So Kiona has no fucking idea what these things are. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like a dragon without the arms, right? So a dragon effectively has six appendages. Right. Two arms, two legs, and two wings. Uh, this one is like a bat, where the arms double as are the wings. Are the wings? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the arms are the wings. Um. And boy, these these have a flying speed and a half. Uh-oh. Um, and so I'm just going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. And then the wyvern is going to dash. <gasps> 5, 10, 15, What 20, in the hell is that? 30, 35. 40, I don't 45, know, but 50, I'm 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. But when it's here, uh, when it is here, it... I'm just going to move this around a little bit. There we go. There oh. we go. Uh, I'm just going to... Oh, God. Did it have two uh, things on its back? Uh, yes. Oh. There were two, there were two individuals, two riders on its back. One of which is this big ol... No, it's going to drop right here. You're both in the threat range. One is basically, yeah, Megan, a paratrooper. Uh, one of them is this big, heavily armored, uh, like, you have not seen an elf this ripped and this buff before. This is like the, uh, Simon de Gothia's long-lost elven cousin. Uh, heavy armor drops down just foam onto, onto the stairs right in front of Kiona. Um... This is a... I need my... Oh my god. I have so many character sheets to manage. <laughs> um, and I have just planted most of them behind the stream window. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> Um, don't worry Why about it. Why is he so happy? Uh, yeah. Uh, this one is going to make three great sword attacks. All on Foodle. What? Okay. That is a 19, a 19, and a 16. The first two hit. The first two hit. Okay. 
you are going to take 13 and 10 slashing damage. But wait, there's more. Uh, the weapon attacks deal an extra 2d6 damage if it has more than half of its total hit points remaining. So you are going to take an additional... Wait, why did it roll so many extra damages? Oh my god, because it's one per each. Um, you are going to take an additional 6 plus 8 damage. We're just going to take the first two. Okay, so 14? Uh, yeah. 14 is the additional damage, yeah. So 13 plus 10 plus 14. Ah! Which is quite a lot as this this <laughs> this <laughs> elf like great. <laughs> boom just drops like a just drops like a brick right in front of Kiona and raises this massive sword and just boom down Ooh. on on Foodle uh the the wood underneath Foodle's feet like just splinters <gasps> uh it just it just hits so hard um meanwhile um nope that's gonna be it uh foodle you're up all right foodle is going to oh are you concentrating on anything foodle uh not anymore i use not <laughs> Oh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah, he had Hunter's Mark, but no, it did not survive. Oh, that. you already you already rolled the conk on that. Okay. Oh yeah, the first thing I yeah. rolled was a seven, and that is not enough. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, how do these things work? Pushing attack. Okay, if they're large or smaller, they're gonna make a strength save. All right, Foodle's gonna uh, be like, ah, get away from me! And he's gonna start firing Gimbal Shot into this guy. Point blank, baby! <laughs> ba bam Oh, yes. And it- A 25 hits. A strength saving throw. Okay. What's the DC on that? 18. It meets. All right. It meets, it beats. We're doing it again. Oh, wait, can Kiona do anything about that? Uh, uh. She didn't, she didn't, though. No. She didn't, though. <laughs> um, so. All right, another strength saving throw. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that is, and then we're going to do a strength save. This one, this strength roll is 28. Uh, okay. so... <laughs> Alright. Right, so I'm gonna say Kiona cannot do anything about that one. <laughs> yeah. She's got, at best, the D4, so that's... that's Third <laughs> attack. Oh my no. god. Oh, that's good damage, too. That is good damage. Okay. Yeah, baby. Strength save. And another Colossus Slayer on top of that. Why not, right? Okay. Well, just the one, because he can only do once a turn. Fourteen on the strength save. Why? And he is pushed back fifteen feet straight oh. out from the middle. All right. No, ghost. He's pushed. Oh, out straight out. Feet straight from straight Poodle's. out. He lands here. Oh, oh no. yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah! That uh, drops the onto the... Down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, point blank, you plant oh, Gimbal God. Shot right Yo, in this guy's chest. So loud. <laughs> oh, frick me. And you just do a... You just do an alien style, eat this! And... Uh, and it lifts this plate-armored behemoth of an elf straight off of his feet and he just goes tumbling off Kiona high five like <laughs> like Lazel <laughs> being <laughs> like Lazel being shoved five feet that turns into 80 feet off yeah. of a nautiloid in <laughs> early access freaking yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 before they change the nautiloid <laughs> and change the shove mechanic <laughs> 
just deleted her from the game. Ooh, oh, is there fall damage, right? Because we're like I 15 feet off the ground. Fall that was my right? I mean, he's going to land prone. And yeah, just away yeah. 60 feet um, <laughs> it is, yeah, 10 well, damage from falling. High five for murder. <laughs> yeah, high five for murder. Yeah, baby. Dude, this guy was going right. to murder Foodle, all right? I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, surprise the hell out of Frick both me. of us. <laughs> So after the high five, we'll be like, he's gonna cough up some blood oh, and no. pull out a healing potion and uh, and then drink it. Oh. And uh, bonus action, drink that healing pot. Yeah. Nice. I don't know which nice. one he's got. Oh, actually, wait. No, no, no. He's gonna he's gonna sort of surge with the high five. There, as they high five, some spectral leaves connect, like sort of wrap around oh. their hands. Um, and Fudo uses second wind instead. <gasps> Well, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Kiona never gets to be it that close. <laughs> so, you're always like 8,000 feet away mm. from her when you have to use that. So, I know, I like... know, right? <laughs> so 1d10 plus fire to level, so that's 11. God, I always roll so bad on these. All right, 14, I'll take it. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. Thank goodness, Poodle. You're amazing shot with that gun. You're amazing. These dragons, this is incredible. Uh, what should we do about the lady behind us? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> speaking of dragons. Speaking of that, Kiona will turn around. Is it Kiona's turn next? Oh, no. Uh, there's, there's a turn between. No. There's a turn between. No. It is, it is Initiative Order 15's turn. <sighs> <laughs> oh yeah also also on initiative order 20 it's supposed to be these guys turn so they're gonna they're gonna take their turn now too they were supposed to take their turn on oh, 20 you, why didn't um, you put them in the table <laughs> because because i'm deleting all sorts of creatures that would delete them off the table too oh. um but actually i can do this hold on you guys uh you guys won't see it you guys won't see it but i'll see it Nice. Yeah, um, I was gonna suggest just do a GM layer one somewhere. Whatever. Yeah. Oh god. And then we're gonna put this one. <laughs> yeah, Megan. The the Baldur's Gate three animation for second wind it just cracks me up every time. <laughs> it's so over the top. <laughs> um, Okay. Um, so we're on initiative place 15. Um, all right. This guy is going to make some uh, short sword attacks on the Draconic Spirit. Oh! Ooh. The Ooh. Now that is a six plus six piercing, so 12 piercing, and 15 plus 18 poison damage, so 33 but, poison damage. But also resistance to poison. Thank you. Which would have it down to 60 mm -hmm. poison? Yeah, 16. So altogether it's... Yeah. I don't know, whatever I told you. Uh, uh, 15 piercing and... 12. 12 piercing. Oh. And then yeah. 16 poison. 12 piercing and 16 poison. Alright. Oof, knocks her down. Knocks her down a bit. I like to imagine the elf hit the tree like the squirrel you kick in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I don't have the heart to kill uh, I've never done it. You've never oh. done it? It's hilarious. No. Oh, it's no. hilarious what happens. You've got to do it one day, Colleen. No, i got to do an evil playthrough, <laughs> you, you know? You have to. You have to. <laughs> um, do a, do an Oathbreaker Paladin as your evil playthrough, because you get a, you get a friend with a lovely Scottish accent. Ooh. Um Yeah. 
that only appears in the game if you have an Oathbreaker Paladin. Um, to my knowledge. This one, the the Archer. Share. The Archer. <laughs> is actually going to not make any attacks. It's going to do use the dash action to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Not going to go that way. I'm going to back up. to here, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and there's going to be a, a epic moment, whereas this guy would be shooting back this way, right, because relative movement, uh, the archer is going to lean over in her saddle and grab him up, and help him up off the ground. Um, and then these guys are going to get to move. And they're going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Um, and they're, they're going to move a little bit differently. 55, 60, 55, 60, 55, 60, 55 55 60 This one did what? Like that? They're gonna actually spread out a little bit um, And that is gonna be their turn Now There is a pur Purple Robed Woman on top of the wyvern, riding in the saddle with a uh, purple blindfold over her eyes, um, which, as as the wyvern was rocketing past you, Foodle and Kiona, you had this this moment where time like slowed down, and you saw the purple <laughs> blindfold with the sigil on it. Uh, unlike the other one who had dark hair, uh, this one has blonde hair, so it's a it's another one of these people. Um, you're, you're realizing that this, this seems to be, like, a group of them, as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to just that, that one who is unique. Um, and she is going to, um, She is going to cast a wall of force. Um, um, level, uh, level, fuck, um, four. Counterspell. Kiona sees her doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank hold God on, it hold reset. On, hold on. Thank God it reset, you guys. Fourth level or higher, the interrupter spell is more size of level less than or equal to the level of the spell slot you use. Fourth level counter spell? Yeah. Um, you are going to need to roll an ability check. Okay. Uh, which yeah. one is that? You, you misunderestimated how powerful okay. the spell is. Um, so spell casting, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Um, and so that is a roll plus your charisma, charisma modifier. Okay, so it's just a d20 yeah. plus, plus. I do not believe you get prof. I do not four. believe you get proficiency. Okay, from so this. it's it's a yeah. d20 
plus four. Uh, yeah. come on, baby. Yeah. Ugh! That's a seven. Uh, that's a seven. Uh, Tides of Chaos. Advantage? <gasps> oh! Okay. Come on! Yeah. 16. All together. Oh! <gasps> yes! You succeed oh. at counterspelling. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, my God. I really oh. want to. I really want to change the counterspell rules. Um, not not just because that failed, but because I find counterspell to be needlessly complicated and weird. But uh, I'm still yeah. I'm still workshopping what I want to do. So, um, yeah, you successfully counterspell, yes. and Kiona, it is your search turn. My wild magic was a three for that. Just FYI, guys. Oh my god! Yeah. and it was at a two, right? Like, right, but it reset. Oh, so, right. Oh, geez. All right, it's back up to a two again. Um, so that was oh. Kiona counterspelling. That was a reaction, right? So she, it's now her turn, you said? Uh, yeah, and she's yeah. got a reaction back. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. On your turn, you get your reaction back. <sighs> what am I going to do to this bitch? Um, oh, I, mm. God, I really, actually, how close is she? Uh, Kiona's gonna reach into the bag holding and pull out the ball gag and throw it at her. Ooh. Ooh. All right. What's the uh, what's what's the role on that? It would be a would it be an athletics or something like our strength? Uh, I don't hold know. On, hold on, hold I don't on, know. Hold what does it say? It what does it say on the write up? Please work. I always thought it was like a throw attack or something. Uh, it's, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll copy and paste the text here. Uh, I have it on my sheet, but I can't just... Uh, uh, ranged make a ranged attack. attack against one target with this weapon. Okay. So a ranged attack is just a d20, yeah? d20 plus dex. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, that's a plus two. All right, we're gonna do that. In... Please. It is a bonus action to pull from the bag of holding. Yeah. Oh. It did not go well. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. The ball gag. Uh, it's fails. Tangled. The gobstopper <laughs> fails to, uh, to reach her. Oh, dang! Uh, Kiona will swear. Um, and then... Hmm. We have a choice here. Uh... Is the movement... What is movement like up here where we're at? Is Are we just on, like, a little... You're on stairs. Right. And this is roofing around us? Yeah. How steep is the roofing? Is it is it not super steep? Um I will make you make a uh athletics or acrobatics check. To uh, uh actually, you know what? Um Excuse me, Foodle. She'll she'll kind of shimmy by Foodle, and um, go down the ladder opposite this chick. No. Okay. You know what? No, never mind. She doesn't to say where she's at. She is. Uh, the the wyvern is high up enough that it sailed over your head without triggering off attack. So it is. Right. Let's say. So it's still it's like so she's still like floating. Level above. three height. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, then uh yeah, she'll just she'll stay right there. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. I think it's so draconic because you use your time. Yeah. Oh, draconic, All right. draconic spirit, spirit gets spirit. to go. <gasps> yes. Yep. 
Fuck okay. him up! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe we're pretty well, hold on a minute, pretty decently lined up here for an actual um, cone snapped corner. It's a 30 foot cone. Uh, would that yeah. would that hit that one in the south there? This guy right here? Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you're using the forty-five. And I don't oh, know. yeah, oh, no, you this? use hold the forty. On, use hold the, on. Is it supposed to be forty-five? Oh, it's supposed know. to be. Hold on. No, it's I, supposed to be on. ninety degrees. Yeah. Wait. It says a thirty-foot cone on the on the dragon spell. Is that? Yeah, but what it should be mean? forty. Oh. It should be ninety degrees. Like a ninety. It should be degree. ninety degrees. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because whenever whenever you look at representations of cones in D&D, they're 90 degrees. Oh, well, then. Um, yeah. You know. Uh, yep. that. That's gonna hit all of them. Yep. Uh, These are dexterity saves, right? Yeah. Oops. That's seven damage a piece on a failed on a failed save. On a failed save, okay. And then um, two rend attacks. And the D on the DC the guy is right in front of. Them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seventeen. Uh, okay. Oh, the DC is yeah. Okay. The DC is what? Yeah, seventeen. Okay. Um, these two failed. The other three succeeded. All right. Okay, I'll take it. As the dragon breathes out a cloud of crackling, staticky storm cloud mist stuff out of its mouth, electrocuting everybody in its path. Uh, go ahead and do your rend attacks. All right. Hell yeah. Fourteen! Oh. And fourteen! Uh, yeah. Fourteen and fourteen. Oh my god. He had 28 HP exactly. <gasps> so he oh. has died. Uh, right. the, the dragon uh, sinks its talons into, uh, through his armor, piercing flesh, lifts him right out of the saddle, and throws him down onto the ground uh and then moves in five ten fifteen uh cannot move because oh. it needs to use its walk movement to maintain its position oh, 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 oh okay okay never mind that. right okay yeah wait it's flying though so it gets twice the flight then walk no no? Okay. No. That's not how it works. <laughs> Alright. I'm happy. Yeah. That was my turn. Welcome, Raiders! Alright. That was a good turn. Nice turn. Welcome, Game Master really Eric. Good. Welcome, Raiders. Um, Mazo, you're up. Okay. I may need uh, some guidance on this. Uh, so, okay. uh, she's gonna... You've got the spell. Just, well, no, yeah, not back. But she's gonna <laughs> climb up here behind the driver. Yeah. Okay, how does, how does this work? This thing here. The ballista? Yeah, like... It's not gonna, yeah. like, shoot the horses in the face, is it? Like... No, 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 no. You can, you can aim it upwards. Oh no no! She wants to aim it like, can she? Oh yeah, you can you can hit the thing? you can hit these guys. What about yeah, this? you can hit. These. What about this? Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Okay, no, can she hit this lady? That is gonna be burn? that is gonna be a hard shot. Okay, no no, yeah. she'll just aim for the thing then. That's fine. Um, is a let's see. 
So I put in our group chat what the uh, attack and damage stats are for the ballista. Is a bon? Is it a bonus action or an? Act? I don't ever look this up to put like something on a weapon. Is that a bonus action? Like to coat a weapon. To apply a coating. Yeah. <laughs> this may be a stupid idea, but I'm just like. Uh, it takes an action. Okay, never mind. All right. Yeah. I mean, is it a bonus action? That's not what. Uh, look, I, I was trying looked. to be kind of stupid. She was gonna try and. Yeah. Basically just basic jump basic the poison says the applying the poison takes an action. Uh, okay, never mind. So she'll just yeah. shoot this thing. Then, you know what? Right. I'm gonna say it's a bonus action because it's the same thing as taking a potion, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Well, she'll, well, I don't even know if this will work, though. Basically, she just wants to just cover that ballista bolt. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. So you, you, you pull out the you pull out the poison. You just empty it onto the ballista bolt. Yeah, it's, uh, what is this? It's, uh, blah, blah, blah. 1d4. That's not a lot, but whatever. Okay. Yep. So she'll... Okay, I looked it up on the roll... Damage is damage. ...message you sent. It just says plus 6 attack. So is that just... Yeah. Roll a d20 So you roll a d20 six? and add 6. Yep. Okay. Got it. Twenty-three is gonna hit. Okay. Uh, and then, it, what'd you say? It was 3d10. All right. 3d10 damage. 3d10. All right. No, no bonus. That's decent. Okay. And, then... and add your 1d4. For poison. So 18. 18 damage. Okay. And then, um... She will. This is again. It's an attack. She's gonna attack again, quote unquote. Uh... Now you do not. Uh, you don't get poison on this next attack because that's fine. You... I don't think it hits yeah. anyway. Yeah. Oh no, that doesn't hit. No. Okay. Well, never mind then. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. This time, up ahead, some of the uh, some of the enemy attackers, the ambushers, positioned up ahead of you in the woods, have felled a tree, uh, and you see a tree collapsing into the road in your path. If anyone's got anything they can do about that, they have until... Uh, how far up ahead? Wait. Uh, yeah, how far? Question mark? Like, far enough that if you're gonna hit it, like, right now. <laughs> I don't think... But we can't do anything out of turn. I'm allowing it. Oh the my ghosts. god. I, I apologize. Um, somebody just until joined Flutter's Discord and I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little them, bit concerned. I'm watching it. I'm, I'm watching it. You saw it. that too? Anyway, uh, yeah. I, I didn't realize. Thanks for that. Wow. I appreciate anyway, the check-in. Yeah. I, I, I'm Sorry. watching it. <laughs> okay, okay. I, anyway, I hope okay. you're um, here for, for the game. I hope that's <laughs> Yeah, I hope so too. Um, <laughs> so, Ghost, I apologize. I was, was not uh, a little on distracted the right there. What did you say was yeah. happening? <laughs> There's a join your Discord. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Um, it's fine. A tree Hopefully. fell <laughs> in our path, Flumps, and and Ghost is oh, giving a us a chance to react. Oh, to it, uh, To somehow yeah. try to clear it before we run into it. Um, uh, until until I finish until I finish rolling animal handling checks, and I've done two of them out of the three already. Oh my God. Uh, 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 I'm looking through Foodles. Inventory. If an animal handling check goes poorly enough that a D4 might save it, Hiona will bend luck in the hopes that we can get around it. 
All right, you're gonna want to bend luck on this guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, a four! Well, that's good. All right. Yeah. So, so you, Kiona, in your ability to to perceive things in a way that nobody else is able to perceive them, you're able to perceive sort of the the, the chaos of the universe, thanks to uh, the core eye spirit Adelati in your head, uh, the way the way that you you interface with them, um, you see a eventuality in which that tree falls right on uh, the driver here uh, and and uh, the scolded driver is crushed underneath the tree and Mazer is is like vaulted out into the air uh, and and lands with a thump in in the roadway um, but you manage to bend uh, the scales of the universe just enough uh, that um, the the uh, driver is able to put a little little bit of extra like there's there's a moment where it's like the tree almost like slows down a bit as it falls uh, just enough time for the wagon to slip underneath the tree Fiona. as it just foam into into the road. Like a... Like a, one of those, you know, the <laughs> kind of gas when she sees it happen. <laughs> she sees it landing and she's like, oh no. Uh. But then it it hiccups. It hiccups on the way down. <laughs> nice. I love it. Nice. <laughs> That's right. All right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, uh, no. the, the, yeah. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it is Initiative Order 20's turn. I believe that uh, that is this group right here. They get their turn. And they're going to go... Um, with the the archer the archer being the center uh so they're gonna go uh dashing five ten so fifteen it's totally yeah you as the dm but the archer was moving on 15. i know because this guy fell on so 15. that is that is because i missed their turn on yeah. initiative order oh, that's true. That's true. yeah oh yeah. okay okay <laughs> i see Okay. Um Although and then good, good catch. Dismount. Oh God, dismount. Bad. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for for keeping me honest. Um They're going to go uh and that's all. That's all the movement that they're going to have. So they're back on. Um and then the wyvern gets to move. And it is gonna move. It is gonna move. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Five. So 60, it has 80 feet of movement. So it is gonna move walking speed 20. So 5, 10. 15, 20. And she moves with it. I need to like group these tokens. Okay. Walking speed 20, does it have reach? Does not have that much reach. Um, yeah, exactly, Bo. So it is gonna dash. Mm. 
and it's gonna dash to there. <laughs> as it's as it's heading for for this poor guy right here. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not Caridwin, thankfully. Oh, okay. Caridwin's Caridwin's inside uh, protecting grandfather, just in case things take a real turn for the worse here. Um, and that is it for the units on initiative order 20. Foodle. Oh, this guy again. Um, ugh. Gross. All right, so this guy is how far away from Foodle? 15? Well, actually, yeah, how far away is it? You know, Ghost? Um, where, where am I who is, oh, no, who's no. how far away the, from who? Big, the big boy who... <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh, that's going to be some sort of lateral, like, frickin'... Um, so where you are is, I'm going to say, 20 feet up. So that's 20 feet... Frick. The hypotenuse! Well, um, are you using a Euclidean or non-Euclidean? I just use a non-Euclidean because it's easier. Whatever universe you want. <laughs> I hate it. I, hate I know. It. I know. I know. But it's a grid. It's so much easier. But yeah. Anyway. He's he's thirty feet away. He's thirty okay, feet 30 away. Feet. Damn it. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Hmm. That is not ideal. Uh, all right. Um, how's he looking <laughs> after <laughs> getting off uh, the fucking wagon? <laughs> angry. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, hmm. Okay, let me let me take a look at what Bo's thing does. Uh, strength saving throw would be restrained. Yeah, that seems unlikely. Um, all right, well, Foodle is going to go, ah, this guy again, and he's going to go down 10 feet and mm -hmm. 15. And so he's now, what, like 10 feet up above this guy? Yeah. Okay. Um, and well, so goes to be clear, Foodle doesn't Foodle doesn't want to move into melee range. Like if Foodle wants to be able to move back away from this guy without this guy getting an attack of opportunity. So is Foodle too close, yeah. or is he far enough away? I like up the ladder. He's far enough away. He's far enough okay. away. He's at the top of the ladder. This is about 10, 12 feet up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Foodle is going to use his bonus action. Oh, and a superiority dice to fire a net at this guy. And we'll see if this hits, please. Oh. Uh, 16 does not hit. Yeah, not so much. And I think, I, I'm fairly certain I can only use one superiority die per attack. And that is the quick toss action. So, yep. okay. All right. Uh, Foodle is going to use. So you throw a net down at this guy and he just grabs it and throws it over the railing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, uh... you definitely see hints of a grudge in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it. Um, uh, all right, the foodle is gonna start unloading. Uh, yeah, he is. Oh, bam! Nice face. It's a ten. All right. Oh. Ba bam! A fifteen doesn't hit. Ba bam! Goodness. Fifteen doesn't hey. hit. Twenty-seven, 27 does. Hits. Twenty-seven hits. <laughs> all right, we got one in there. Oh, and, you know, one, hey. There you go. Every little bit counts. Um. And what was that damage? 20. A four on a d10. Do I want to use the piercer? Mm, no, 
that's fine. Um, and Foodle is going to move. So that was 15 feet. He's going to move here. And that is his. All right. Turn. Okay. Now on initiative order 15. Uh, these two already got their action. We're gonna have another lightning bolt sent Mazra's way. Uh, even, even though it's a little bit futile, isn't it? Um... We're going to have another lightning bolt sent Mazda's way. It's going to hit Mazda and the driver. Um, let me grab lightning bolt. Remember, he gets a 2 AC and a plus yeah, to his saving lightning throw. Bolt is a, yeah, lightning bolt is a saving throw. Yeah. So we're gonna go saves, dexterity. Uh, all right, you both pass. Uh, and Thank so that is that. no damage for you. Frick me. Um, <laughs> That's my have girl. Have you taken a hit yet? Yes, you Fucking have. Evasion. From arrows. Yes, I have. I got shot with an From arrow. Arrows. Right. Yeah. Um, 28 halved is 14. This, this, your driver's starting to look a little bit hurt. Uh oh. Okay. Your driver's starting to look, look a little bit hurt here. Um, Jeez, Phil, how much HP do you have left? Give me an exact number. <laughs> <laughs> how many breaths in your body? <laughs> and he says, what, what, what are you talking about? Um, this evoker wizard, what? What else do we have? What else do we have? That's fun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Woof. I'm sorry, but I'm bullying you. Um... It is solid surface. <laughs> I love that. You can, email. you can expand that spell description. Here we go. Uh, so. How does this work? Form it into a hemispherical dorm, dome or a sphere with a radius, right? Or you can shape a flat surface made up of 10, 10 square panels. Uh, we don't need 10, 10 square panels. We're gonna draw a wall of ice pretty much right here. <gasps> counter spell? <laughs> uh, counter, uh, well, uh, the, uh, no, because she already got it off, right? It's done. Oh, fine. Can't, yeah. well, yeah. True. I would have had to say yeah. something faster. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Also, I you know, um, conservation of spell slots. <laughs> Not gonna lie, yeah. I'm starting to get a little concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use it's those okay. resources. Yes, it'll, yes. It'll be, use, be. use all of your superiority dice. I did tides of chaos. Use all of your spell slots. Um. And then the archers, uh, this one is going to shoot at uh, the wagon. 10 and a 20. And uh, 20 I know is going to hit. So she's going to use archer's eye to increase that 12 damage to 18 damage to the draconic spirit. Second archer is going to attack. What's the what's the draconic spirits armor class? Uh, fourteen plus spell level nineteen. Frick. Uh. 
So the first attack that hits the Draconic Spirit is 11 damage. The second attack that hits the Draconic Spirit is going to be 9 plus 8, 17 damage. So 11 and 17, 28 damage in total this round Dragon dealt to done. the Draconic Spirit. No! Bam. Our poor See ya! Baby. Well, See that ya. means that Kiona's not concentrating on anything right now, then. Hmm. Yeah. wonder what we'll do. Okay. Uh, frick me. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it when you say stuff like that. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, you asked for this. <laughs> Kiona, it's your turn. Mazra, you're on deck. Haste, okay. baby! Mazra Foodle! Let's go! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Twin spell. Uh, casting haste on both. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Actually, she also might need a distance spell. Yeah, because Mazra's. I think just far so, because away. Mazra's at the front of this wagon down here. Yeah. She's like up there. Yeah, so I, yeah. Think, I think that's a distance as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you the move there, you can probably get us both. Oh, yeah, right? she yeah. could. She could step. A couple feet forward, yeah. Save the, the point. Okay. Um, sorry, I have to align. It has to be. Oh God, she's surging. Oh, right like that's the. Oh, you're also you're also gonna surge. Yeah. Oh no, you're also I gonna forgot surge. about that. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah. And it has to. It has to be. Auto uh, surge. Is oh God. Feet, so she's got to go ten feet forward. Can she Let stand her, on top uh, of this ballista? Megan, we're gonna make her. Yeah. Uh, right yeah, that's like the platform that yeah. the ballista's mounted okay. on. We're gonna we're gonna let her roll first, so that yeah. So she can. So that just in case one. she rolls like a one. Right. Then, right. Oh, then, then we're gonna save then her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. But I rolled a three. It's so close. All right, uh, you're gonna search anyway. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see that surge. Oh. Race change. Come on. Come on. We've been waiting. That one's a 45. Uh, uh, you cast levitate on yourself. Oh, wait. That would actually be bad, I think. 89 <laughs> is levitate the other is not one. The fly. You become invisible for the next minute. That yes. is really good, yes. considering you're concentrating on fucking haste. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! The invisibility <laughs> ends if you cast or attack a sp or attack or cast a spell. So like, she can lay low for a minute. Yeah. Oh my All right. god! All right, you, you are to, now you invisible. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the dragon is gone. We're concentrating on haste. We're invisible. Your turn. That, what? A <laughs> Mazra. What does that let you do? You get two actions. You yeah. get two actions now. Yeah. Two actions. Okay. Mazra, you are like feet away from smashing out of control oh. into a wall of ice that just appeared. I'm going to do something insane and let me know if I can actually do this. She's gonna move to the back here. Mm. She is going to. If you allow, she's going to use her daggers to try. If it does the daggers won't work, she'll use Missy Step, but she wants to teleport onto this person's horse with them. I am going to <laughs> get you to make, I'm going to, so because they're riding one saddle here, you can do that. You need to use one of your attacks to make a grapple okay. check on this person. And you need okay. to succeed at that or you're going to fall off. Okay. And you can, you can put yourself... We're, we're gonna we're just gonna put you behind there we go so what's grapple check grapple is uh mm -hmm. athletics check versus this athletics. targets uh athletics or acrobatics okay all right <gasps> oh that's bad 
I do have inspiration though from something. <gasps> is Mazra inspired? I do. I have a mo- check mark on my sheet. Nice. Well, yep, well I don't know let's where. let's give uh, let's give them a chance. I don't know where it came do from. Do I have their do I have their sheet open? What's their better? Oh yeah, their better ability is their dexterity for sure. Um, and did they get a? Yeah, they don't get a bonus to dexterity save. So rolling a dexterity save is the same as dexterity check. Yeah, <laughs> they they succeed. So you right. bamf like right on top of her, and she managed to like throw you off. Or that's what would happen unless you use your inspiration. Yeah, to let's try do it again. Please roll twenty. Be much worse than a two. Wow. Well. Oh, oh, I God. had to say it. I had to say it. I, I so, like, wow. I haven't. <laughs> so how does actions work? So what action did I use? I use a bonus action to throw my dagger and I use to throw action. your dagger. You, no, you so used, a... you use an action to make a grapple attack grapple against this and a person. Bonus action. All right. So I have another yeah, action. You, right you have another action. You can use your action to do a bonus action thing. You can't go in the opposite direction. You can't do a bonus action to do an action. Okay. Right? But you can use your action. This is one thing that they don't do in Baldur's Gate 3 that pisses me off. Uh, You can use a full action to perform a bonus action move. Okay. Unless I'm very wrong about that and I'm thinking back to 3rd edition again. but, But... even if even if I am, I'm gonna allow it anyway well, let's because do this. that's how it this should be. A bonus. Well, this is a bonus action, but I already used. Wait, yes, okay. So I will have to because I don't think Bo, you're in the chat, right? I don't think I can dagger twice in a round. I don't think that's how that works. I'm gonna say um, no. Okay, but yeah. I do have Misty Step as a separate spell. So is that acceptable? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. Now. What she's going to try and do. Okay. Tell tell me. Now, you can try to bamf back here, and you would do so for free. But you're about to crash into this ice wall. Or you can attempt to grapple again. Oh, one of these people. Yeah. So maybe she'll try and. Try and grapple. <laughs> the no, weak Mr. wizard. Step onto this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Look, okay. Nothing ventured. Um, nothing that's right. Gained. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're gonna missy step onto this guy and try Fucking, him instead. Yeah. <laughs> Just shop it around. Fine. Okay. Roll me in athletics yes. again. I love the chaos. Oh of my god. Can I not use acrobatics for this, please? Oh. Nope. Nope. It's a okay, roll 20. Like, come on. Roll 20. Hey, there we go. We rolled above it. For fuck's sake. There we go. I yeah. will tell you what this person rolled. Their bonus is a plus two. And they rolled a two for a four. <laughs> so you are now grappling this person. She's grappling around their neck. Can she yeah. grapple them like this on their mouth? Yes. Now, here's the thing about grapple. It is not an action. It is one of your attacks. Right. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So you have two attacks. Is that right? I do, but I used... Per action? Yeah, I have you two attacks one to grapple. per round. Yeah, because you get multi-attack, right? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long you as get the extra attack, attack action is used, I can attack again. Yes. Yes. So one of your two attacks was the grapple. Yes. And you have your hasted action as well. I have my haste. You've already used it. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. On the I've, failed I, I've just bopped. On the other person. Right. I bopped. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, that's okay. how you did it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so, with your second attack, you can attack or you can do something with this grapple. Okay. Uh, can I attack can cast with the wall? my dagger or do I have to attack with my hands? Who cast the wall? Yeah, did Mazra go to the... Oh, thank God. All right, perfect. Oh, did I? Great. 
That, that's success. We meant to do that. Hey. So, yeah. Do I have to use my hand, or can I use it? Can I dagger? What do you want to do? If I attack, do I have to attack with my hands, or do I? Can I try and? You can stab use your dagger to attack. Yeah, you could. Okay. You could All right. attempt to dagger. Well, let's try it. Please roll twenty. I beg you. BS. Damn it. Um, oh, is it a is that an advantage while they're grappled? Yeah, I think it is. I think you get advantage you while they're grappled. Thinking of restrained. Restrained. I'm thinking of. Well, okay, whatever. Just take the first. One. How? However, here's what is going to happen. Oh. Um, the mage is going to use his reaction to cast shield. Okay. Which would block the first attack, but because shield has a somatic component to it, and you are in melee range and and grappling, you get an op attack. A twenty one would surpass the AC of the shield. Yeah. Okay. So you deal the six damage. The first the first attack. Nope. Ah, is that's not hit. such a shitty roll. Ah. What is that? Six plus eight. So that is 14. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Take that. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, smite him. Okay. Now this is all one that attack. That is a total so of, a yeah. Check, right? Concentration check, which is 18 plus 6, 24. And what is it? Half the damage? Well over better, so, yeah. They gotta roll a twelve or better. They gotta roll a twelve it's or half, better constitution. It's half the damage or ten, whichever is higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not one. <gasps> the this, <wall>. this, <gasps> this ice wall just shatters, <laughs> and so does this poor guy's bladder. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I cannot I, I cannot believe. believe I cannot believe what just transpired on that turn. Other people can't Ow. hear Kiona screaming because that she's is, invisible. That I was is... the most smartest person on the team, the most chaotic when it comes to combat. That that is that is just one of the stupidest turns. <laughs> <laughs> in this whole campaign, what just transpired there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, both of this. I, we love you. Matters. I cannot this believe. I cannot believe the sequence of events that just occurred. Uh, <gasps> that was a nat. That was a nat one concentration check too. I don't <laughs> believe it. Shit. I don't believe it. Okay. Well, that's um, my turn. All right. Uh, more animal handling checks as there's another turn in the road. Let's see. Let's Kiona would see. help, but she's Let's nowhere see. near one of these drivers. They so all, can't... they all pass. Oh, okay. They all pass. Ooh. We are back to initiative 20. That means the wyvern gets to go. Wait, on initiative 15, this mage didn't go. Did she? Alright, she's gonna go on initiative 20 this turn. Well, well one of them right. did... But which mage? This one, one right on here. The on, on the wyvern. On the wyvern, yeah. Right, I, forgot yeah, yeah. About, I forgot about her move. Shoot! Oh, yeah, she just sort of moved with the wyvern, didn't she? Yeah, 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 yeah. But she, she was meant to go on initiative 15, but she didn't. Um, So she's gonna go now. I am really interested to see what happens here. And I've bullied Woof enough, and Kiona is invisible. 
So I'm going to bully Cauliflumps. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That might be my favorite sound that Foodle makes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> she is going to cast a spell at Foodle. Kuno doesn't have a reaction And Foodle, right now. you yeah, begin to feel yourself being ripped away from the fabric of reality. Um... Please make a charisma saving throw at advantage. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, now, Ghost, nothing happens with um, V, right? As far as this saving throw? No. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. And Foodle, uh, Foodle's in the driver's seat, so you are using Foodle's uh, yeah, yeah, I, I charisma score. Uh... Okay, well, that's an at one, so let's try it again. Okay, oh. okay. <laughs> that's a 16 plus one for charisma. So 17. Oh, wait, what oh is Oh, my it? God. A saving throw? Yeah. Oh, it's an 18. Because of the stone of are, good luck. Are you serious because of the stone of good luck? While this polished agate is on your person, you gain a plus one bonus. To no! Saving throws. No! I was gonna pen luck anyway for you. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. Look. This was, this was gonna be such a fun side adventure when Foodle just reappears <laughs> on this exact spot <laughs> and everybody's left them behind. Wait, go? <laughs> oh no. Dude, Nat won to the bare fucking minimum. Are you kidding? Oh no. Oh, I am so sad that this didn't work right now. I'm so sad that this didn't work. Hey, stop that! I mean, <laughs> I mean, at least like oh, Foodle yeah, effectively would have been removed from the fight. Right, so right. That at least that didn't happen. For us, really, yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been a yeah. bad thing. <laughs> uh, but wouldn't that have been such a fun little side adventure? That would have been pretty. Epic. Um, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the wyvern is going to make a attack with a stinger on its tail. So you watch in horror as this prehensile, this long prehensile tail that this wyvern has sort of hooks down to catch the driver of this cart, this, this carriage right here, uh, as the wyvern is swooping by. Um, I'm going to do a... Plus seven for 23 to hit. Um, I already rolled. I oh, no. Gonna hit. <laughs> oh, I failed. I failed. I failed to set it up properly. Okay. So we're going to have to manually roll. This is uh, eight piercing damage plus. Watch this. Watch this damage here. 7d6 oh my God. poison damage. Oh. Okay, as this driver is just like <laughs> impaled by this stinger, lifted off of the cart and just tossed aside. Uh, and because movement speed is 80 feet, um... It can go 5, 10, 15, 20. And still maintain its relative position. Uh, and guess who's back, Foodle? Your friend. Um, <laughs> is he still, That's is he so still cool. at... No, he's not. He's not over. Uh, so he just you you hear like 
the thud, 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 uh, and and the the wood groaning in protest as somebody climbs up the ladder. And you see this hulking, armored figure sort of step up and stand before you and lift this great sword and just boom back down on top of your head again. 21, 12, and 23. Uh, the first and the third one hit. Okay, so that is a total of 25 damage, if you please. Ah! Okay. And the archer is going to get to go as well. Twenty-five, uh, and she is gonna unload a couple of shots into Foodle's back. Uh, Thirteen and a twenty to hit. They, they both miss. They both miss. She's gonna use her archer's eye to turn that twenty into something. Foodle's AC is twenty-one. So, okay, that is a twenty-two to hit. Now, the uh, bin luck. Uh Oh. Okay. Okay. You need to roll anything but a 1 on your yeah. d4. Two, three, four. Hey, holy <laughs> shit. That's amazing. She yeah. can Oh, can you bend luck on an attack? Yeah. Oh yeah, attack yep. roll, ability check. Yep. Oh, yep. that's yep. cool. You can. But um, um, in doing that, so that's, there's a question for you, actually. Uh, does that count mm, as a spell cast? No, but you do have to spend your two sorcery points. I did. I, I have docked them already. I am actually down to six sorcery points, right? Well, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and apply the number rolled as a bonus or penalty, your choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there, there's like, uh, you know, the, the archer's paradox where the, the arrow like wobbles in midair when you watch it on, on like a high speed camera in slow motion. <laughs> um, the, you manage to manipulate the archer's paradox just enough so that as it's like hitting Foodle's back, instead of being shaped this way and digging into his back, it's shaped this way and it just kind of pings off his back. So Foodle, you actually feel the arrow hit you from behind but it's like a slap on your back <laughs> um and right now in your in your head you're like don't pee your pants don't pee your pants don't pee your pants uh, <laughs> as you take your turn okay what is Fudo doing with his turn um Got a hasted attack. Or hasted with action, possibly. Um, okay, Foodle is going to. Yeah, he has to. Um, he's going to use his hasted action to disengage from this guy. Flutter, did you have your reaction to do that? I've been, it's been a turn since I, has it been a turn since the horse thing happened? Um, yeah, that was the tree falling. Was the that horse was a thing? minute ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was, that was like, yes. Okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. So I should yeah, be able sorry. to okay. still, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So that's Foodle's hasted action. Foodle is going to load up another net and use his last superiority die. God, I hope this hits. Come on. Oh. oh. So he fires a net at this guy, who is now restrained in the net. Okay. So that's uh. Foodle's bonus action, his last superiority die, and his hasted action. 
And Foodle is going to start firing an advantage at this guy. Come on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is one attack. And then two attacks. Okay. And three attacks. And Ghost. Yep. Um, I know you're you're doing stuff. I'm gonna re-roll that first damage. So if there's a damage okay. difference, we'll add or subtract it. Yeah, I'll just count the the damage difference there. So yeah, four. Uh, and then Colossus Slayer. Foodle. An additional five. Oh. How do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> you should have stayed down there. Ka bam 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> So we're and so we're we're talking like this is this is like diehard level action movie like this this guy is just like uh, and and just you know slow motion uh, hits the ground and boom gone and the wheel of the wagon rolls over him as it goes yeah the wheel of the wagon rolls over him and the whole and, and this and this guy was uh yeah and this guy was so uh this guy was so like built yeah. and wearing heavy plate armor like, that even though you're yeah. on a huge wagon you feel the whole thing like uh -huh. <laughs> amazing yeah. uh and for the last of his movement uh, Foodle's gonna go down this ladder and be like, yeah, you're next, as he reloads Gimbal Shot, and that is his turn. <laughs> Shame! Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's shaking his head. Shame! <laughs> Shame! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, that's one character sheet I can close. Um, da, 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 da. I think I freaking hurt. All right. Oh my god. Ugh. Hold on. I'm Let's sorry. see. I to move Do her. these guys? Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh no, that's the wrong action sheet. Uh, character sheet rather. Oh, they don't. They don't have it. I was hoping. I was hoping this guy had Misty Step to like counter Misty Step you. <laughs> oh my God! Can you imagine? It's just like. Whoop. <laughs> uh, what can he do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> You'd love to hear um, it. I do love to hear it. Really. <laughs> these two I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this one for a bit. These two are just gonna absolutely unload their arrows on poor Mazra. Do I get half You're cover not... because I'm behind this guy? Yes. Yes, because actually, they're gonna they're gonna drop back so that they have a better shot. Um, okay. So they're just slowing their movement. Um, but you're gonna get plus two AC. Okay. So they're not they're like not gonna risk hitting their friend. Um, so you're gonna get partial concealment. Twenty. And if I get plus, plus two, two AC, haste. it does not hit me. Uh, plus two AC, you're at twenty. So the oh second wait, one yeah, so that me. one will hit me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, but um, remember haste. You get plus two AC from haste. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why the twenty <sighs> didn't hit Poodle. Yeah, baby. <laughs> No, it's an invisible be... Kiona just. She's just sitting there being oh. like giggly. She's shouting. Oh my God. Nobody, the invisibility thing says nobody can hear her, so she just like oh. whooping and shouting and like giggling yeah. all over the place, <laughs> watching you guys annihilate these guys. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Why don't you just have it a person to leave a party out there? Pepper. I am mad. I am mad. If she saw that arrow go in for food, she went, Ooh! <laughs> Maja does action movies uh, and stuff. Alright, this one's gonna go. Uh, you know what? You know what? This one, she has Archer's Eye. She's gonna turn that 20 into a hit. <gasps> Alright. Oh, that is now a 26. Take 5 damage, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this one is gonna make her attack. 23 yeah. to hit. Yeah, 23 hits. Not if I add double... Yeah, you add 4 to your armor class. 2 from haste and 2 from... Um, oh yes, you're right. Sorry. The human shield. I had a moment where yeah. I didn't understand how to do haste um, addition. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Look, math is hard, okay? Uh... So that is 9 plus 2 damage for 11 damage. 9. I will half that. What is that? 4? Nine plus two for eleven. That is yeah, but five I was gonna half it. Damage. Half it. Yeah, yeah that's half five it. damage. Five. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this wizard. On the wrong character sheet again. Oh, concentration checks. Okay. Uh, what's the what is that? Is a con save? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just barely. Nice. Uh. Yeah, this one is gonna lightning bolt the cart again. Okay. Damn. That's oh. um your deck save. Oh buddy. Uh Mazra, you watch as this wizard uh casts another spell, uh firing out with this lightning bolt, completely destroying this wagon and killing its driver. And that was, unfortunately for you, your easiest escape route. <laughs> That's okay. Um, the other wizard that is near you is going to use an ability called Sculpted Explosion. Uh, and so you feel as you're you're holding on and and just stabbing this guy, uh, you you feel him stop struggling and just start to concentrate and and draw as much arcane energy into himself as possible, and then he unleashes a tremendous explosion of arcane power that somehow misses his friends because he's allowed to do that. Um, you have to make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. Okay. And Mr. I'm going to make you do it at Dissid. And, yeah. And, uh... Excuse me, even my companions have to yeah. roll a half a save if I, if I Read it. help them. Read it. Read it. And I'm going to make you do it at disadvantage unless... Oh, wow. You oh. release this guy from the grapple. Wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, is that your choice? You're releasing him? Yeah. Alright. 
Um, you've released him from the grapple. You do not take any damage. Somehow, I take no damage. Holy shit! But let's so so. Woof, you and I need you and I need to talk about. We need to come to an agreement between us because this is a highly irregular situation that that the standard rules of D and D do not account for. Uh, you are moving at speed. You are making a dexterity saving throw, which is traditionally dodging out of the way, but you're on horseback. You've let this guy go so that you can dodge out of the way of his explosion. I mean... What, like, what, what should happen? I want to ask you. Um. <laughs> I will tell you what I think should happen is you bail off the horse and tuck and roll. Um. That is what I'm saying should happen. I was thinking that she would slide down what? the side of the horse. Yeah. I'm talking. So I'm talking to Wolf. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Wolf. Striker. I mean, yeah, I'm I talking know to what I would do, but I don't. Think you're you're that you're not work. table talking right now. Yeah. Okay. It won't actually work with action economy, so I can't actually do what I would like to do. So, um, I mean, if it's easier, I can just do the disadvantage. But like, no. No, no, nope. fine. We we cut the, we fine. cut the deal. Yep. It'll be fine. Uh, I mean, what do I? It's just it's just like a reaction, right? Like what you have available like to you to dodge, to do like to dodge away from this somehow. It's not a reaction. It's it's your it's your defense. It's, I'm dodging. Yes, right. Yeah, uh, and if you look at um, and if you look at your range, you can't misty step to anything. Yes, the yes, that's true. I mean, I think you got to fall off. But if you can sell I mean, me on an alternative. Okay. Fa okay. If falling off is a thing, what I can do is let me know if you'll let me do this. She can fall off. Can she click her movable rod and just hang in the air? <gasps> Instead of hitting roll, the ground. Roll me a dexterity check. God. This is so fucking scuffed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so wait, wait, what roll? Dex check? Dex just, check. Just regular yeah, dex? D20 Straight plus dex. dex bonus. Yeah. Okay. Um, you... Good thinking. Good thinking. You bail off the horse. You click the immovable rod. You freeze. <gasps> and we said we're moving 60 feet. You're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're back there now. Okay. Uh, you may you may exit this combat on the next go around. Okay. That might be something that happens, and then we will we will figure out what happens to Mazra afterwards and how we can deal with this. We'll figure something out. Well, I have I have a thought. And we'll Whose see. turn is it? Right? Is oh, it Mazra okay. right now? It's no, it's Kiona's turn. Oh. Wait. It my, is. No, it's, it's it no, 15. it is Kiona's turn. Yeah, it was yeah. initiative count 15. It is. Yep, yeah, it was initiative count 15. Everybody who is on 15 has gone. It is now Kiona's turn. Kiona sees Mazra fall back like that, uh, realizes that they're going to lose her, and Dimension Doors to her. What the shit? Okay, Wait, that's, you just that's what happened. the wagon, though? Like, that's what happened. I have options. Okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. No, no, you can't table talk. You no, can't. It's yeah, what she happened. can't. She it's can't what tell happened. what you're thinking. This All is right. What Kiona is like, oh shit! There goes Mosmer. We gotta get her back. All right. Uh, you dimension door two, Mazra. I just rolled. You are two. no longer invisible. <laughs> Come on, you guys, my you dimension me door. So badly to do this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I you searched. just rolled a two. But yeah. you did, you surged before. But you surged before, didn't you? Well, we always do it after. 
No, no. No, no, but you surged on, didn't you, did I you surged, not surge so on the previous round? I surged, so it reset round? to one. Oh. It, it was it reset to one. one. Yeah. Right. So, so you do not surge, no surge this time. right now. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So she... So you dimension door to Wolf? To, 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 to Mazra. Mazra. Yeah, so she's basically going okay. to uh, just appear next to Mazra and be like, I got you! It's going to take a whole turn, but she's got another cast of Dimension Door that she'll use to get them back on the wagon. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the wagon, the wagon won't there, be... Like, she's hanging there got... from the rod, like... Right, yeah. but then Fiona disappears next to her all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She had an ocean. Yeah, coma. Kiona, you didn't you didn't have you didn't have time to you, you didn't have time to uh to to see Mazra click the rod. You right. just saw her fall, fall off the horse. Off the horse. And and basically bail yeah. uh, before this explosion just poof. Right. Um and so what happens is you dimension door when you appear, you just smack into Mazra, right who is hanging it. there. <laughs> And Mazra and Mazra is quite a bit heavier than you, and so you just like bounce off of her and fall to the ground. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> and, oh. and Mazra, you're you're hovering, you're hovering like well, horses are pretty tall, right? Like you're you're hovering a good like four yeah. feet off the ground. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This falls on her ass. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, Kiona, you're gonna take you're gonna take. Uh, a little damage. nominal falling damage yeah, from that. Okay. You're gonna take six damage That's from that. Uh, as you like twist your ankle or something like that. Oh! Uh, and because you took damage, roll concentration. Oh shit! Okay. Uh. Yeah, boom! You see that? You see that chat? I got her. Well, she <laughs> has advantage on those because of this. Yeah. Uh, concentration is just... It's just a d20, right? Constitution. constitution. Oh, right. constitution. constitution saving throw. Sorry, sorry. Add advantage. That's the yeah. one. Oh. Okay. Add advantage, and you gotta get at least 10. There you go. Well. <laughs> you succeeded. Yes. So that was your action. Uh. Anything with your bonus action. Uh, I mean, n uh, she's gonna be here with Madra. I don't okay. think she has a bonus action to do. All right. So, Can we even make it if the wagons are moving another 60 dimension feet? Dimension door is 500 feet. Dimension door is 500 feet. So even if they go 120 yeah. feet from now, we still got plenty of time to get back on that wagon. Yeah. It's just whether or not we uh, can handle it between now and then. <laughs> Mazra, Mazra, it's your turn. I realize that you have few options. I have a couple. You can take, so make you out. Can, you can take yeah. this. You can take She'll this time her. to ask <laughs> nope. Kiona what the hell she's doing if you want to. That's a, yeah, that's what's uh, going is, that but, yeah. is that a free action? Is that a free action? That is a free action. That is a free action. What the fuck are you doing? I saw you fall! That's a free action. <laughs> I'm fine. So she's, she's, right. she's hanging there, and what she's going to do is she's going to look at this, this guy up here, this one in yep. the back. They're all riding away going, from you. Yeah, he's still within range. Think... He's still ah! within range. <gasps> All right. Okay. And what are you commanding gonna, him to do? She's commanding him to. Is it has to be one word? Has to be one word. Yeah. Well, it says it says to use like approach or whatever. Those are examples. Yeah. Yeah, he, she was just going to say stop, but... Stop. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that is what kind of save? A wisdom save. That's, yeah, probably not great, but whatever. Uh, quiet. Yeah, sorry. 
succeeds. 24. Darn. Because honestly, yeah. here's the thing about haste. It's the right idea. She's literally yeah. gonna book her act. Like, she has enough movement with being a rogue and having the run. She <laughs> could catch up to these guys, actually. Oh, wow. But she can, she like, can just she, zoom. She's got no she, can, she can run and bonus action yeah. dash and like, then so, use her daggers yeah. to, like... In the future, read. Kiona yeah. will ignore it when Mazra falls then. Okay. Fine. Good. <laughs> she, they're having this <laughs> argument with each other while they're, like, running That's after so this fast. girl. What the hell? This is That's insane. Like... Well, she can't I mean, run. And while the, she while the two of them... them like, squabbling. While the two of them... Well, the two of them are beaking at each other and like me 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 <laughs> right. Adelotti is in Kiona's head and now, may, maybe you should trust uh, Mazar a little bit more. It's like she's getting involved in it too. And <laughs> 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 well, you get the uh, basic action. And you can dash. Yeah, you could do something. Yeah, but at this point, she, I don't. She doesn't trust running away because uh, Kiona you, wants to get up. So yeah, at this point, at this point, you kind of. You kind of realize what Kiona has in mind. I think she basically told you. Right. So. She's like, I'm going to get you back. Like, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kiona banishes herself for quiet. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> She's just like, God damn it. All right. Um, you can make an attack. It is. If you got a sixty foot range, that's something. I think you're muted. You're muted. Well, I don't. I don't think she. I don't think she has a ranged weapon. I have a hand crossbow, but that's piece. not gonna. But reach. you could. Well, why not? I mean, oh, like disadvantage. I don't know what the hand. What's the, what's the range? Yeah, what's the range on it? Just what's the range on it? Fire the crossbow. The you got the... <laughs> no, that's. Huh. You can just run up, bow? fire the crossbow, and run back to Kiona. I mean, like, Ki what? Kiona. <laughs> <got> haste <laughs> movement. <laughs> just be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Kiona, I'll be right back. <laughs> like, shit. I mean, just Kiona can run that. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Kiona would yeah, try yeah, yeah. to run. She can run and grab yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 she didn't use any of her right. movement to do okay. that. She just. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Who are you attacking? Actually, wait. That would be a disadvantage, so. Uh, this guy. Yep. Okay, that definitely hits. Alright, so he's. He kind of. He kind of looks back a little bit cockily, like, hey, I gotcha. Uh, and, and then, uh, crossbow bolt just comes in and thunks right into his back. Oh, that's a bad one. That doesn't work. And then, uh... That does not work, no. So that was extra, and then, um... I think that's it, because the command, command is in action, so... Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we are now at the top of the initiative order, uh, but it is 11 o'clock here, 1 a.m. for Wolf. So, uh, and and we are, we've got a ways to go. Um, the advantage is definitely skewing in one direction right now, but we've got a ways to go. So I think we're going to call it here for the night, and we're going to pick up this combat again next time. The one note oh I'm gonna gosh. have in tonight's thing is Dimension Door in all. <laughs> 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 oh, my oh my god. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here's oh the here's god. the music we're gonna sign off with tonight. Uh oh. Oh god. Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. Classic. It's so Classic. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys. This is so much fun. I'm so excited for next week. This was such a Oh blast. my goodness. That was that was a that was a lot of fun. Oh uh, what, what is a combat that whole, without Kiona making rash decisions that what don't is, make sense? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she behaved in a way that that 
like makes a lot of sense as a spur of the moment kind of thing. I mean, that's what, yeah. Um, Mazra is her person and she oh, saw yeah. her fall. She panicked. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I, I love thinking about Foodle who's like cockily reloading Gimbal Shot right now, looks right. up and just sees Kiona bamf out of there. I wonder no, what he's thinking see. at that moment. <laughs> he, he doesn't see because she was invisible before she did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. He doesn't even That's know she, true. Doesn't she even has she's no gone. idea where she is. That's true. <laughs> He's going to see Kiona That's and Mazra bamf back next to him when he went again and round next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> They're just going to appear. <laughs> and with the, the, un, the unmovable rod, that was a that was a really great idea. That was genius. that was a great cool, idea. Honestly. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I was worried about you. Like I was I was fully prepared to start next week playing out a little side adventure with you. <laughs> <laughs> Where <laughs> navigate hostile territory to catch up to your friends, but we didn't need to do it. Oh my Ooh. god. God. Oh, the last that was a lot thing of fun, I'll guys. Say, Wolf, is Mazra does not need to maintain concentration on Shield of Faith anymore because the fucking guy died. He's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, Wolf, you're muted. He's dead. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she tried her best. Fine. Look. Yeah. And she kept her up for a long time, too. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. All right. That so Friends, fun. that was Ghost, so much fun. So much. Yes, I cannot oh, wait to pick this up again yes. next week. Uh, we've got a, we've got a good, we got a good amount of like we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies on the board. Oh. And we're not even sure that's all of them, you guys. I have a suspicion that there are more still to come. I'm a little worried, actually. We shall Spells see. Do our best. Then. Mm. Oh my god, I've used so many source this is this is my sorcery points. I've got nine right now, which is great, except mm. if I use nine I'm surging. Uh and well it, it it'll be interesting to see how many spell slots Kiona has left at the end of this battle that <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping we won't need him at the end of this battle, but I suppose we'll see. Yeah, goodness we'll gracious. See. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I think it's pretty late, so we're probably just gonna head off yep. for the night. Yeah. Next week we'll be back yep. around on Ghost Pepper's channel. Ghost Pepper! Yep. So please, please make sure you guys ready. Uh, please work, Link. It, my commands haven't been working at all uh, lately, and I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, <laughs> Are you using Stream Elements? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's Ghost. I. Thing. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I don't. That one's broken the, for me too. The so WC D and D one is uh, it, it exists. Flumps, yours one that I tried to do the other day when it was the exclamation point flumps, 100% exists. It's there on my list and it just won't pop oh. for some reason. Oh, so, weird. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so weird things. Chat's doing crazies. Uh, do we want to drop a raid on Joe? Weird. We could we do can that drop quick. a raid on Joe. Yeah. Raid dip. Yep. Backslash raid. Jay Chilson. Let's get him. Let's do it. Uh, let's go, you guys. Hit up a raid message if you got it. We can make a D and D raid message, maybe. Thank you so much for hanging out, you guys. Bow Striker. Holy cow! Everybody was here. Tailgate Brigade. We got a raid from Game Master Eric. I got a new follow from Arctic Bunny Boy. Thank you for that Ooh. follow. Welcome, friend. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys are all amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for rules layering for us, Bo and Striker. It has been clutch today for sure. 
um, you guys' input on some of these things. Amazing! Thank you so much for being here. Let's go and say hi to Joe, guys. Say bye! Bye, support, Rebel! Bye! Support! Bye! Bye, friends!